Um, <laughs> hi everybody. Small, small Sims update today. Um, nothing really big is going on at all. Um, so just a, just a couple small things that they added to the Sims today that I thought maybe we could, um, <laughs> uh, that we could play with. Just like a tiny, you know, like baby sized update is what has happened today. And so I <laughs> kind of want to check it out. <laughs> there was an update today. Um, uh-huh. Uh huh. If you ha if you didn't know, I'm really pleased to be the one to tell you that they've added a new life state to The Sims 4. <laughs> they have freed the babies. Um, now, when your Sims age up from the box baby, uh, the bassinets, they turn into infants. They're like new babies that can crawl, not toddlers, but babies. So. <laughs> Um, if you if you didn't know, I am very pleased to share that news with you. It's a big day. <laughs> Today's been a big day. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of things in the game now too, which we'll kind of I kind of want to like go over and look at. I think I want to try and build a nursery today. Um, I would like to play with the infants a little bit. There's like I just want to really like go through and play with the infant update and like see all the things because I've played with babies um I obviously had early access of the pack over the weekend but I played with like the pack you know so I don't really know what the babies are like in the base game um so we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna like really dive in today I think so um that's the plan Kayla finally getting her nursery I know <laughs> after every oh my voice oh gross sorry everybody <laughs> I think I'm getting sick this was happening to me yesterday. Um, what I was going to say is, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> After everything that we've been through, all the fake nurseries that we've built, finally, finally. We don't have changing tables though. <sighs> that one's pack content. A lot of these things are pack content. <laughs> yikes. Anyway, um, we finally have cribs though, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> Not allowed to get sick. I know, now is not a good time. Now is a very bad time, in fact. Very bad time. Okay, couple disclaimers before we get started. Number one, besties, your mods, I'm so sorry, delete them. They're broken. <laughs> your mods are busted. They're gonna have to uh, be updated by the creators and, and fixed. Things like MC Command Center, all that's broken. Um, so if you open your game and you're like, oh my god, it doesn't work. It's yeah, all the mods are broken. This is a huge update, like adding a new life state is a huge deal, so all that stuff's broken. If you've got things like um, like default eyes as well, and you're like, why do the babies all have demon eyes? Broken. <laughs> um, everything's broken, so um, the, the mods are just obviously made based on the game, and then when they change the game, mods break. Things like regular custom content, if you have like, um, if you've got like, a shirt, hair, non-default eyes, those things are all fine, but if you've got default replacements or like actual mod mods, those things will all be broken. So, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we're gonna have to get them all fixed. So, <laughs> um, remove default eyes. Yeah, I would assume if you've got default eyes, because there isn't an infant version, the default eyes are gonna be, pro they'll probably be like red, or maybe like if you have, um, if you've got like any of the packs, they might have like vampire eyes or something. If you, if you have a default eye replacement and the infants don't have it. Um, so if, if that's happening to you and you're like, what is happening? Mods are broken. <laughs> uh, but most of your regular cast CC should be fine. Th if you've got like a CC chair, if you've got a CC hair, that stuff's no problem. Um, it's just things that might be affected by infants, you know? MC Command Center, oh, broken. Guys, all the script mods that you have, Broken. <laughs> um, it's, this is a, a rough one because this update is so huge. So, and then the other thing is, um, if you have been unlucky enough to have some serious issues with the EA app today uh, in trying to download the update, me too. <laughs> me too. So let me explain to you some tips on. Um, Now, why is that happening? 
I... Aha, okay. <laughs> so my screen capture wasn't working. <laughs> um, I reset it and then it worked. Anyway, if this is happening to you also and all your games are missing from your EA library, um, yeah. <laughs> so here's how I was able to get the, the pack to download or the update to download. Number one, if you can't log into the EA app, just keep trying. I had to do it, like, I'm not kidding, like 50 times to get logged in. So annoying, so annoying. Finally got in, all my games are missing. I have The Sims 4 showing right now, it wasn't earlier. I had The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 showing earlier, but no Sims 4. It's been really bizarre. The servers are all messed up. Don't worry, they didn't steal your games. You'll get them back, there's just server problems, so you aren't seeing them. It's the, the thing isn't seeing that you own them right now, basically, but it'll come back. Um, the way that I got the update to actually download, um, let me like pull up the settings so I can show you. If you go into your settings, um, and then you go into uh, the download part of the settings tab. Um, if you come here and you turn on update games automatically. Um, and then what I was doing is I was like going offline and online again over and over again until it decided to install the update on its own. And that managed to make it work because I, I didn't have The Sims 4 in my library to like manually update it. So I turned on auto updates and just like tried to get it to refresh until it would download on its own, and then I opened The Sims 4 from like a desktop shortcut. And that's how I got it to work. So if you're having the same issue, um, troubleshooting, doing that was kind of useful to me. Um, but I kind of had the same problem <laughs> as you, so um, it, it's been rough. It's been rough. <laughs> but hopefully you can all get your games fixed and it'll work and stuff. Um, but anyway, the EA app. It's been a day. <laughs> Today has been a lot. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I get the game capture up and then we can hopefully um, start checking some things out. So, it worked first try for you. I'm glad, I've heard people have been not having as many issues. A couple hours ago when it first came out, um, it was rough. <laughs> but I think it's been getting better for most people. So, um, hopefully, hopefully you're all able to get it downloaded and things. This is, um, one of the first major things that's happened, like update wise, since they forced everyone to switch to the EA app. So, unfortunately, um, it's been rough. <laughs> they posted a thing about infants on the main page. Also this, when I saw this here on the main menu, this really, um, this isn't my build or anything, <laughs> but I was like, Kayla Sim. <laughs> we have the same name. <laughs> Um, so that kind of surprised, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's me, but not me. <laughs> it's my twin. Um, so that made me, made me laugh when I saw that one. I'm, I'm Kayla Sim 23 though. <laughs> um, let's make a new save. Shall we? Shall we? It is a cute kitchen. It's a nice room. It is a nice room. I liked it. Um, okay. Anyway. Did you read subs? I will, Ginger, give me a second. Um, I wanted to get into the infant so I can stare at the infant cast while I do it. <laughs> um, look! Okay, anyway, anyway. Um, I'm gonna try and catch up with some subs. Bear with me, cause, um, well, it's been eight minutes and I didn't say anything because I was talking too much. My bad. <laughs> hey, Livid and TJ and Laurel and Mars, Delilah, uh, Utah, Willow, my cat is here. Uh, Zeria and Valid, she, that's not a username, by the way. That's just my cat is here. Um, <laughs> Valid, Broadbean, uh, Snug, and Harper, and Mermaid, and Blue, Morgan, Dakota, also Larry, Sweetbread, uh, Mandy, Olivia, Burb, Salty, Rebel, Pickles, uh, High School, and Paige, and Joe, and Blonde, and Salty, and Lucy, happy birthday! Oh my god, it's your birthday and the infant update is today? <laughs> the Sims is on your side, happy birthday! Um, Fuzzy and Amy and Link and Ashley and Fcat and B and Little and Sad and Ender, um, Astri and Starry and Ryan and Hcath and April and Epic and Grelu, uh, Smile, Mad, Known and Star Daisy and Innie and Ryan and Liz and Ren Ren and Cray and Midnight and Trish and Gavilab and Funk and oh my god, how many did I miss? I'm so sorry. Oh, Simsy, I need to explain the babies. I was trying to explain how to fix EA's problems and, you know. <laughs> Alexandra, Kaylee, Clara, Danielle, Grace, and Sarah, and Kyla, and Courtney, and Cheesy, and Aaron, and Pirate, and Winchester, and Crack Attack, and, and Soph, and McKenna, and Egg, and Sunshine, and Jenny, and Babe, and oh my god, I don't know. Besties, 
thank you all so much for the subs. I'm really, I really, I, um, thank you all so much. <laughs> thank you all so much. <laughs> Obviously, it's a busy stream, so a lot of people, um, might have a resub and they haven't been here in a few days because they're excited to see the infant update, so. Um, thank you all so, so, so much, Mac, and Vane, and Ryan, and, and Radish, and Haley, and Colorful, and Azura, and Elle, and, and Agatha, and Emily, and Skeleton, Audrey, uh, Bab, Silly, Lana, Dolly, Shari, Danielle, thank you all so much. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let me make sure that I'm all set up for when we first actually start. My cat being here on my desk is great fun. Like, I'm so glad she's here, but also is gonna make it very hard for me to game. You're sort of blocking the keyboard snap. I know that you don't mean harm, but like This is negatively in impacting sims infants, so <laughs> Did I watch the Love Island finale? Yeah, <laughs> I watched the entire season of this Love Island um, I like Love Island. I think it's great fun um, uh, No spoilers though, maybe chat. We shouldn't get into it too much. But I did, I did watch the Love Island finale last night. It's been a big week for me. Early access ended. Uh, we could post the pack. Infant updates out. Love Island's ending. You know, loads going on. <laughs> okay, let's talk about infants and cast then. When can you buy the pack? Uh, the, or why can I buy the pack? Okay, so when it comes out on Thursday, you said why though. You could probably pay for it now. It just won't download until Thursday. I think you can like pre-order it, pre-buy it. I don't really understand, like, cause you don't, you don't, you don't get to play it early and it won't like download early or anything if you pre-order it. But um, if you buy it now, then you'll be like ready for it when the pack comes out. I know a lot of people see pre-order and think that like, you know, you get like a, a real bonus, but not really. <laughs> not for the Sims 4. There's an early purchase bonus. You get like three extra items, but. Um, is it out or is this early access for the update? It's out, Monkey. The The update is out. The update came out a few hours ago. Three hours ago, in fact. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Should I make an infant and cast now? Or should I make a sim now? Or should I just play- You know what? I don't know what to do. Um, I don't care about adults. I kind of want to do the, like- I want to have a, a baby. Oh, how about this sim? No, how about this sim? Remember Sammy Sharp? I played, um, I played one of the packs with them. I think we did like a rags to riches kind of thing with Sammy. They're cool. Would you like to have a baby Sammy Sharp? And crab. Huh. Okay. <laughs> we'll go have a science baby. I don't know. I don't know. I think crab is kind of cute. <laughs> Do you ever like look through your own old sims? I remember Sammy. I, I think I made them for um, a rags to riches thing that we did during my St. Jude streams. Oh, I'm gonna- you know what? Let's play in winter so I can put the baby out in the snow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's, it, this, is ex this is an experiment, alright? It's an experiment. I'm just trying to see how it all works. I don't want to live there. Maybe I'll live here. It's, it's all about experimentation, okay? We're just trying to see what happens. It's new. Apparently, you can't leave babies in the snow anymore. They actually care. So I just want to see. I just gotta see. Now, what is that? <laughs> I think I did that, but why? Huh. You know, that is a really interesting choice that I have made. I am not super sure why I did that. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the 
sure. <laughs> Super parent or something, right? Super parent or something. <laughs> Yeah, and just so you all know, Sammy uses they, them pronouns. Um, I don't know if you heard me say that when I first uh, got, grabbed the same out of cast, but Sammy uses they, them pronouns. Okay, let's get some better lighting. And then, shall we make a nursery snap? I actually cannot see what I'm doing. BB dot move objects on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know what? How about I make this room into the nursery and we move the kitchen around a little bit. You know? Because we have enough space over here. It'll probably be fine. At least I think so. Okay, let's do that. Should I give myself more room? Also, I don't want it to be this tall. Snap. <laughs> Are you gonna sit in your cat cam? Oh, I think she actually is gonna sit in her cat cam. All right, I'll, I won't give her too much attention in case she changes her mind, but I have high hopes. Yes. This is what we need for today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Feeling great about that. Um, not feeling great about this layout of the house though. <laughs> um, hold on, we, I think we're gonna need to do some uh, adjusting, okay? Here's what we'll do. We'll switch this out. I'm gonna need to get like a, a bathtub and stuff too anyway, so. This'll be fine. And then we can have the kitchen like over here, you know? This is a better layout, I think. Oh yeah, they suppose, you know what? I haven't actually looked at the stair railing stuff yet. Apparently they updated stair railings. Hold on. Let me paint the house purple because that sounds like fun. Apparently they changed the stair railings a little bit. Again, have not seen it yet. Oh, calm down. Uh, can't intersect with roofs. Oh. It's a mess. Okay. <laughs> Marissa, thanks for the 66 months. Mandy and Gina and Playful and Squishy and Mel and Amy and Jazz and Allison, thank you for the subs. I'm sorry, I've probably missed so many things. But apparently they changed it so that the railings don't clip as much in the wall as they used to. Which is pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm extremely excited about that actually. Where did that come from? So they sort of talked about how it's like still a work in progress. It's not done. Like they still have some stuff they need to work on for it to be completely finished, but um, they sort of said that they started working on it so it doesn't clip as bad, which is such a relief, to be honest. Um, do they still clip in windows? Oh, good question, I don't know. I'm gonna go with probably, yeah, <laughs> but we'll see. Mm, let's find out. Oh! You can't see it in the window. Oh, that's huge. Oh my god, the railings used to clip so weird. I'm actually like so relieved that they did that. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I'm I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> They've done a lot, it feels like. Okay, let's look at some of the new items then, shall we? I don't know what wallpaper I'm gonna use. So we'll see. But there's a bunch of new infant stuff. Uh, obviously we have like a bunch of the new clutter items. There's some little things like this. We got like a bunch of diaper type of clutter. Um, <laughs> we don't have changing tables because <laughs> those are in the pack. Uh, but we got a bunch of little clutter items like this. Obviously we have the cribs as well. There's a new toddler bed. So we have a lot of things. I love the clutter. Some of this clutter also slots to the changing tables in the back of them, but um, <laughs> not that we would know because the changing tables aren't base game. <laughs> the changing tables are in the pack, so. We also have this new rug, look at this. I think I'll use this to determine how I decorate this nursery. Can we have a space themed nursery? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, we can have a space-themed nursery. 
The question is though, how do we want to do the walls? You have a fear of this wallpaper? I know, I don't like it either. That's why I kind of want to use it. <laughs> I've never, I've never used this wallpaper before. Um, at least not in a nursery. I've used it before for things, but never in a situation like this, so. Hmm. Maybe, you know this wallpaper, does this come in any reasonable colors that might look good with my space nursery? No, apparently not. Why does, why don't you, oh, I guess the dark, oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind, this is fine. <laughs> this works. <laughs> that works, that's fine. We could also do like a light yellow, I guess. Not that one, but you know how there's like, we do have like this color, but I kind of want to try like a, a darker, because I i don't know, we never do this, do we? It might be kind of interesting. Our first nursery, we don't use any of the like cutesy nursery colors. <laughs> oh, well, we have some cute things like this stuff might be kind of fun. It kind of matches. So we can use those. We'll see. Do I have CC? I don't really use custom content, um, so I don't have any CC in my game right now, no. Um, is the baby they, they them or the parent? Oh, the parent is they them. We don't have a baby yet, Emily. Um, we're probably gonna do a little science baby in a minute, but we don't currently have a baby, so the baby doesn't... The baby doesn't exist, <laughs> so don't worry. Um, oh, you know what? That light green kind of looks nice. I don't know, I'm regretting this. I'm so excited, but I don't know what I want it to look like, so I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Um, let's think about like the crib situation. I kind of want to use the new kind, because this one we can convert into a toddler bed when they get older. I don't want it to be blue, because like, every time I build in this stupid game, it's blue. I need to be stopped. Maybe I'll just do white. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I kept using- do you know what? This one actually is kind of nice with the wood. Because it matches- you know, maybe we'll try that. What save slash family are we? Oh, this is- we, uh, we just grabbed a, a sim that I made a few months ago. And we're- we're playing with them. Um, just so we can test out some of the, the new infant stuff. So, uh, we're not like in any long-standing save. I kind of want to wait for the expansion pack to come out before we pop into any of my like older saves. Um, so that I can play with the expansion pack stuff too. No, the baby carrier like on your sim's back is not base game. That's from the pack. Do you know what they change? Look at this you guys, hold on. So you know how we have these, right? Um, and you know how uh, we used to have like two that were red? It still has a red thumbnail, but when you place it, it's orange. They finally changed it. <laughs> that is something that I was so excited about when I saw, because I feel like we don't really have that many like cutesy decorations for um, kids' rooms and stuff. So I was really pleased to see them change that so that it makes these, you know, more usable. It looks yellow. Well, it's kind of like an orangey yellow, isn't it? But um, they changed it. You wish it was still red? You wish they were both red? Why? These are like supposed to be all different. I'm so glad they did this. It seemed like it was a mistake before because we had like two different ones and two same ones. So I'm, I'm very pleased about this. <laughs> um, that to me was really exciting that they changed that. Okay, I want to find that giant llama. I couldn't find it before either when I was looking for it. <gasps> this thing! This is one of the things I forgot to show off for the video. Stupid, Kayla, stupid. I meant to show it off today and then I forgot again. Oh, <laughs> So cute! Um, 
I wish that, like, the new stuff from updates was more obvious. I wish that they, like, I don't know, had a filter or something I could click. Because there's, like, a little diaper... This. Where shall I put this? Doesn't really matter because we don't have a changing table. <laughs> um, giant, no, llama. Llama, okay, la la the llama. How are you supposed to use this thing? Maybe I'll put it in the living room. Yeah, I will, I'll figure out the color soon too. The playmat is part of the pack too. A lot of the um, the infant content is part of the pack. At times, it almost feels like half of the infant content is part of the pack. <laughs> um, yeah. So, no base game changing table? Yeah, no, there's not one. It's part of the new growing together pack. Look, I don't really understand this, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, I, I've sort of been grappling with this a lot the past few days, trying to like figure out how I feel. Cause like, the infant content that really stands out to me is like the milestone gameplay and stuff. And so, I, I feel like me saying like, oh, half the infant content is locked behind the pack, when I'm talking about milestones, is it really fair? Because like toddlers didn't have that either, you know? But stuff like the changing tables and things kind of make me feel sad that that's not in the base game. Um, but the real gameplay, like the really good stuff really is the milestones. And I don't think that it's fair of me to like, um, I don't know, be mad about that. Cause that is like the whole pack concept and toddlers didn't have that either until now with the pack. So, um, I don't know. Could have given us at least one? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but I don't know. We didn't get one, so that part stinks. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put some little toys over here as if, I don't know, the kid can't use them when they're locked like that, but that's not my problem. That's not my problem. Um, maybe I'll give them a a dollhouse? Do you think the infants can use a dollhouse? I guess we'll see. Ah! Why? Yes, they can? Cool. I know that they can- This the reason I said that is because they can, um, in the pack, but like, not straight away. They have to like, get some milestones first to be able to move around in things. So I wasn't sure if they could do it straight away in the, um, in the base game. So that's kind of cool. Okay, what else do I want to put in here? I think I want like a rocking chair, you know? There's a couple really nice rocking chairs that are in the pack. Yet again, <laughs> there was a couple really nice things in the pack. Oh, I think the rocking chair is a fun little idea because we could try and rock the baby. Bassinet for newborn? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. I'll put the bassinet here. They can have their bassinet in, in the parents' room. Sorry everybody, you forgot about that part. <laughs> I'm so concerned about the, uh, the infants, I forgot about the newborns. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, can I switch this back over here, maybe? I don't know. Does that look better? No, maybe I'll leave it, leave it, hold on, hold on. Sorry, everyone. I'll try and be fast so that we can actually play with this stuff. I'm, I'm being slow and it's not helping anyone. Maybe I'll put the rocking chair over here. And we can sit with the baby. I don't know. Thoughts? Budget? I, I, I'm mostly just trying to set this up so that we can play with it. I, I don't really think that I have like a specific budget necessarily. I more just wanted to get a room so that I could play test the new stuff. <laughs> um. 
and and like see the crib and everything. Oh, one thing we're gonna need is the high chair. That's right. I also don't have a house right now, so we're kind of in a, a rough situation. So <laughs> please hold. Okay, we have a couple new infant toys. We have like this little guy. We have like this little guy. Is that thing? No, I already grabbed that, okay. <laughs> a couple little things. Let's make sure we have a bathtub because I will definitely need one of those so that I can bathe the infant. That seems very important to me. I don't know what color. Should we do like an ugly tile? Yes. <laughs> yes, we should. Okay, so that room is pretty much functional. We'll worry about like potty training stuff when when we need to, which is not yet. So I'll deal with that later. I actually don't care about their house, if I'm being completely honest with you. I'm so much more concerned about playing with the baby. <laughs> I'm so much more interested in that, but we need to get like, oh, my stuff. Why did you do that? Go back. The way it deletes things that you custom place is so annoying. Like, why would you do that to me? Hope for one more is worse. Oh, uh, we could... No, yeah, no, you're right. I, I really shouldn't try and have more than one baby. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh, we could try and have twins. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. It's a bad idea. I had twins, actually, you'll probably like this. I did, I don't know how many of you watched the video that I posted on YouTube today, because um, I just posted it kind of recently, but um, I had twins with the uh, science baby for the first time. So I've had three science babies now uh, in my gameplay practice, and one set of them was twins. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how often it happens. Like, I don't know how frequently you have twins with the science baby stuff, but it has happened to me now. <laughs> so, in fact, it happened to me one third of the time. But I surely it's not like that high of a chance. I, I think that was just luck. But it was interesting because I was playing and then it happened, so. Your first one was twins? Oh, really? <laughs> Do you know what? If I'm being honest with you, I, I swear to you, there is something in this game that makes it more likely for you to have twins when you have no money. Maybe this is me just imagining things, but like, I'm telling you, it feels like whenever I really don't want twins, it's when I have them. It's like my legacy founder gives birth to triplets randomly. How? How? And how unlucky can I be for that to happen to me? Like, I'm telling you, there's something going on with that. It can't be right. They're, they're trying to like do something to us. <laughs> they're trying to make us suffer. Oh, maybe I'll use this rug again. Oh, I put a froggy chair, by the way. Um, okay, that doesn't really match my froggy chair vibes, but. I'll work on upgrading the house more later on. For now, I just want to have stuff so that I can exist as a human. And then we can like kind of go from there once we get some more money. And after I've seen the baby, because that's really what I want. Okay, I think I'm going to buy a, a slightly upgraded TV, because then I can get my fun up better. And I'm also going to buy a slightly better bed, because then I'll be happier. Um... Energy four, energy five. Let's get this one. I don't like it that much, but I think this might be useful to us. Okay, we have a lot of that dark blue color going on. Maybe not that, I don't know. How about that? Yeah? Is Sammy gonna work? No, cause I wanna stay home so I can see all the baby stuff this time around, I think. Oh, I have a dog. Oops. <laughs> 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My mistake. Oops, oops, okay. Um, dog, do you want like a blue? That could be good. What else does the dog need? Maybe I'll get some toys. Listen, dog, I, I'm barely gonna play with you, if I'm being honest. You're here so I can test out how the infant talks to you. I'm more worried about the baby. <laughs> okay, okay, now, now it's baby time. So, there's a new feature, home, called have a science baby. And you can choose, I don't know anybody, <laughs> so I can't do it with anybody, but, if you're close to someone else, either romantically or platonically, you can have a baby with them through science. I don't know anybody, so I'm gonna just be a single parent, but um, you can do all three of those options. You could do it with your partner, with a friend, alone. And then you can just have a science baby. It is magical. Um, and then uh, it just appears. <laughs> it doesn't take uh, much effort, so. The Sims name is Sammy Sharp. It's a boy. What should we call it? Simon, Sid, Greg, Gerald, Samuel. I can't really name it Sammy again. We call them both Sammy. I think I kind of liked Simon. I thought Simon was kind of cute. Okay, just one. Just one baby. Just one baby. I can't take you seriously like this. Look. Okay, so they changed the babies a little bit, too. They're, they're supposed to look younger, more like an actual newborn. I think that they look kind of wrinkly, like an, like an old man, which isn't a bad thing. A lot of babies look old. But they did change the babies a little bit. Um, also, babies have genetic eye color now. Which is interesting. So instead of just having the same eye color across all babies, they have different ones. It looks so old. Yeah. <laughs> it does look old. They also updated it finally so babies actually have accurate skin tones. Because back in the day, there was only three skin tones the babies could have. Um, so <laughs> they finally fixed it so that babies can have, like, any of the skin tones now. Um... Yeah, babies in real life look kind of like tiny old people, specifically newborns. Look, I'm gonna say something kind of controversial, but newborns? Kind of ugly. Sometimes. They look like they're just, you know, kind of scary. <laughs> So I, mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I guess it checks out. Um, oh, this thing? Oh, here's something interesting. Look, if you have laundry day, you can use cloth diapers. And then instead of, like, when I change the baby's diaper, now it puts a diaper on the floor. Watch this. Change the diaper. Look, I just threw a diaper on the floor. Um, if you choose to use cloth diapers, it gives you laundry instead of uh, a diaper on the floor. Which is kind of cute, but I- I don't like to play with laundry, so <laughs> I probably won't use that too much, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't- if I had a, um, like, washer dryer, it would do that, which is kind of cool. But yeah, now they just change their diaper and put it on the floor. That's so Sims 2. Yeah, I know! Isn't it kind of fun? Um, I'm- I'm excited about that. Is there not a diaper bin? There is a diaper bin in the pack. <laughs> Um, so, more money with the money trash. Genuinely, I have an idea for a video that I might try and do, where I try and make money off of only diapers. <laughs> by just recycling the diapers in the uh, money trash can. So, I, I don't know. It's an idea. <laughs> Imagine you have like seven babies and you just, that maybe is a bad idea, but you know. Also, they're only a newborn for one day. So, that's nice. Okay, I think before I age this baby up, I need to do a couple things to prepare 
for example, like, cook some meals. Um, stuff like that. Can you change the newborn onesie? I was just looking for that. I fear that, um, that might also be in the pack. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I think this is a grave error that they have made in specifically releasing this update right before the pack and having us all see the pack and then see babies without the pack because if we hadn't seen the pack we wouldn't think it was bad but now we've seen the pack and we're like there's no changing table you can't change the onesie because we've seen all these things that you can do with the pack so I think if they had released the pack even like two weeks from now and people had like some time to play with the infants on their own, it would feel less bad, you know? Because it's coming out in two days, it feels like a really intentional like... It, it almost feels like withholding of features in order to sell the pack, which I is a heavy accusation I realize, and I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it feels that way, you know? Um, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> but, anyway, I don't- the newborn thing, like, I'm- if I'm being honest, I'm not really that concerned about newborns, because you're only a newborn for a day. So, like, it doesn't bu it doesn't bug- bug me that much. Um, it is annoying, but it, like, it's only a day, you know? Put the baby in the snow. Oh, I'll do that next. Hold on. After I feed the baby. Is it that way for all lifespans? Um, I don't know what long lifespan is like. I should be on normal right now, I think. Yeah. Let's look at long. What do you think it's like on short lifespan, then? <laughs> um, you get like three, four days on long lifespan. So... What about short? Is it gonna age up today? <laughs> I haven't tested that yet. Yeah. <laughs> it ages up today on short lifespan. Oh my. Okay. Okay. I mean, that makes sense though. The, the, like, the cool stuff is all for when they're, they're older babies, so. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there in the, in the outside. Oh no. Oh no. I... Am I a werewolf? I don't think I'm a werewolf. No, I'm not a werewolf. Why is it saying join a pack? <laughs> oh, why is it say join a pack? It always does. If you're on the thingy, even if you're not a werewolf? Okay. I don't look into packs that often. <laughs> um, not that kind of pack, at least. Interesting. Maybe they're trying to uh, force me to be a werewolf. Oh my god, that scared me so much. I was like, I'm not a werewolf, am I? I don't want to be a werewolf. <laughs> I'm not a werewolf, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> that was so scary. Well, the baby doesn't seem to care about the cold. I'm just, like, sleeping out there. I'm trying to hug the dog so it doesn't leave me. Why baby in the snow? Because apparently they changed... Oh. Hold on. Apparently they changed it so that the babies actually react to being left outside in bad weather. But I guess it isn't actually snowing. It's just, like, in the cold, so. I think we have to have it be a storm or rain for them to actually care. Oh my god, there's like two diapers on the floor. Yeah, I don't think anything bad's gonna happen to it when it's just there. Should I age it up? I think I will. 
I just want to see the infants, to be honest. <laughs> Baby care, age up. I did what I could. I've seen the newborns. I don't care. I don't care about the box babies. <laughs> I want Simon to be old. Okay, grow up. Oh, look! They're taking a picture! Oh, that's actually really cute. That animation to take a photo when the baby is aging up. That happened in the live stream too. I really like that. That's really sweet. Okay. So what do you want to be? <laughs> There's six infant traits. Sensitive, sunny, wiggly, calm, cautious, intense. Um. Oh, everybody's saying wiggly. The other half is saying intense. Should I be wiggly? We'll see what I get first of those two things. Oh, wiggly. We'll be, we can be wiggly. These sims are always on the go and want to play and move about. However, they often struggle to fall asleep <laughs> or pay attention for extended periods of time. Uh, the intense trait. These sims have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. They all kind of have a pro and a con. Cautious babies. These sims appreciate the familiar, but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and sims. These calm sims like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants, but they are less likely to explore the world on their own. Sensitive ones are prone to diaper rash, are often picky with food, and can more easily become overstimulated. <laughs> I'm just saying, I relate a lot to some of these kids. <laughs> Um, however, they also rest more peacefully throughout the night when souped. Less relatable. Um, and sunny sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social attention. Not relatable. At all. <laughs> um, I think intense and sensitive and cautious are, um, are me. But I think I'll be wiggly. This, honestly... I, I know, like, how are they supposed to do this, but the way the baby, like, flies out and then floats down is so weird to me. <laughs> it's so weird. I want another one. Oh, it's a girl. What should we call it? You're gonna get twins? Don't say that! Oh, I didn't even think about that! Could you imagine? Okay, so we have Simon. We can't call it Simone! We can't have Simon and Simone! <laughs> I guess we could. Should we call it Simone? <laughs> we used the same name twice. Okay, Simon and Simone. It's just one. It's just one. It's just one. Okay. We're fine. Oh. I noticed this before. I couldn't age it up, like, straight away. I had to actually, like, wait a second. And then I could. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Simon and Simone. Should I make Simone intense, then? The other trait that we wanted? Okay. Oh, wait. I'm not very smart. I only have one crib! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, let's go into cast and worry about that first, and then we can worry about the crib. They can take turns in the crib. No, we'll we'll buy another one. We'll buy another one. It's fine. I'll buy one. It's okay. <laughs> um. All right. Well. <laughs> Portable one? Oh, we can get the portable crib. I like that idea, actually. Okay. So, in Cass, um, we have a few new hairs. Most of these are conversions from uh, toddlers, but there's a handful of new ones as well. I think this one is really cute. I almost want to use this one, to be honest. Have another? What? Like a third baby? You want me to have a third baby? 
This item is new. Uh, I hadn't seen this until today. This is the Nifty Knitting onesie. They made a onesie from Nifty Knitting and put it um, for infants. So if you have Nifty Knitting, you have a, an infant onesie, which is kind of cool. I don't want a third baby. We're not doing the seven infant challenge today. <laughs> we'll do that when the pack comes out. It'll be harder then. Um, Maybe I'll use this Nifty Knitting onesie. Or maybe I shouldn't, because we should use the baby update stuff. Today's about the update, isn't it? Oh, look at the little bee. Maybe I'll wear this one. That's so cute. Simone, maybe for formal, you could wear a pretty little dress. I love this one. For sleepwear. Oh. <laughs> We're never gonna wear a party outfit, but I'll, I'll look at them anyway. <laughs> um, and then hot weather. I always think that whenever I give my sims party wear, I like spend a lot of time thinking about what I want it to look like. And then I'm like, do I really need to spend any time thinking about this? Cause like, as if my sims are gonna have a party, like they just won't. Maybe I'll wear the bear outfit for it. Yeah. <laughs> No, baby showers aren't base game. Baby showers are in the pack, unfortunately. <gasps> oh my god, so cute. Can I give her a birthmark? Yeah, we can use some of the... Um... Oh, that's scary. <laughs> the, face, the face presets are really creepy. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. It's just like the floating head. The adult face presets don't look like that, right? Oh, they have a neck. Yeah. Oh, it's way worse for the infants. Why don't they have a neck? It's like a floating head. I don't like that. Um, well, we do have some new skin details that are- maybe I should not be in this outfit. It's harder to tell when you can't see the whole face. <laughs> Uh, there are some new, uh, like, birthmark skin details that we have. Um, there's a few options of these. So, that's kind of cool. Renesmee? You want me to call the kid Renesmee? Or are you saying that the things look like Renesmee? Are there... Oh, wow! Do you know what? I didn't notice that there was, um, full body ones for the infants. I haven't seen this yet. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I, I didn't know that the infants had the the body ones too. That's cool. I'm actually really impressed by that. Do the birthmarks age up with them or do you have to reset them every time? You know, I haven't tested that yet because I didn't know that infants had birthmarks until just now, um, or at least for the body, but I, I'm gonna go with probably not because even like freckles and stuff, um, you have to re-add them, don't you? Between like even... <laughs> Between like even like children and, and teens and stuff. Um, I don't know. They do age up but it becomes lighter. Do you think, I, I, are we talking about the same thing? Cause I think that, um, you know how these are different? Like, they don't have swatches. These, I think, are the stork bites. Are these the ones that age up with them and fade over time? Or did all of them do that? Because that seems... Just did it, they do? Do these ones do that? Or do all of them? Because, like, those don't have swatches. Test it? Yeah, how about this? Let's give one of the babies one of these, the top two, and we'll give the other baby the other one. I feel like it's probably just the 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 darker ones that fade over time, I think, because the, the like these ones are available across all age groups, so I would guess that probably these don't. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, we'll try them both out then. 
We gotta give Simon some outfits too. Here are the hairstyles, by the way. Um. Mm, I think I'll wear this one. I like it when they have like no hair. <laughs> I feel like, I just think it's so cute. We need more hairs for the infants already. We're lacking. Give him a helmet. Oh, we can wear a helmet. Do you want the watermelon one? Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, when you wear, obviously when you wear the onesie, it covers it, but. Um. Maybe we could wear this green one with the watermelon helmet. So cute. <laughs> I was a helmet baby. I've mentioned this like three times today, but not because I'm trying to keep talking about it. I just, <laughs> I just, um, it's, it's come up a lot today. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, it's come up a lot today. It's, it's been a topic of discussion, uh, given recent events, but what's a helmet baby? Oh, some babies have to wear helmets like that. Um, myself included. I had to wear a helmet. I have to ask my mom for like specific details because I was there, but I wasn't really there because I was, you know, a baby. Um, <laughs> but uh, basically I had like some problem with my neck, so I couldn't hold my head straight. So I was like leaning my head constantly. And because baby heads are so soft, my head was flat. So I had to wear a helmet to reshape my head. Because babies have such weird, malleable skulls. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Exciting stuff, huh? <laughs> Should we wear... Maybe you could wear this onesie. The little frog one is so cute! Okay, what about party wear? I think I had them both wearing the bear costume. Do you want to wear like the green one? That's not really green, is it? You know what I mean. Um, you can match your sister in that one. Match your sister in this one too. Oh, there are a bunch of styled looks actually. That's a great question. There's loads of styled looks they made. They went back and made loads. Um, so there's styled looks for like every outfit category, um, which is kind of nice. So there, there are styled looks, yeah. Um, I haven't really tested them out yet, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Your infant stands up in Cass? Oh. That's weird. Um, that's weird. Yeah, I know, Tori. Uh, helmets aren't that uncommon for, for babies. Um, but, okay. Okay. I have to get another crib. Hold on. Just kind of regretting my choice to have a second baby now. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, okay, let me scoot all this over then. That'll be better. Okay, we should have enough space for everybody. Mm, I like the blue one. If you regret it, you should make a third. I can't make a third! <laughs> I can't make a third baby! What's your problem? Freezing from being cold due to temperature. Is anyone there from crying and fussing? I gotta get a thermostat. What a dramatic baby. Fine, fine, I'll get a thermostat. Fine. I'll turn the heat on. God, make me spend all this money. Okay, well I guess I'll talk to you. Do you want to be cuddled or something? Because you're in a bad mood. Maybe because he was outside for a while before. Oh yeah, I did leave the baby outside for a while. Oh, look, we're playing. Interesting. Very interesting. We can also play with this, but I put toys in front of it, so she can't, but... We can play with these, too. I'm so excited about this. When did you learn to sit up? Oh, so infants by default in the base game can already sit up. 
Um, the like learning to sit up, the milestone feature. Milestones are like one of the main features of the expansion pack. Milestones for all ages, but also like obviously infants. It just affects infants more because they have to learn how to sit up and learn how to crawl and all those things. Um, so the milestones and the like learning how to move, that's pack exclusive. That's like one of the main pack features. Um, so the babies in the base game can already do those things. They don't have to learn how to do them. Like we can try baby food right now. Oh, which one should I try first? Do you want to try mashed peas? Come on. Simon is a wiggly infant. Oh no, Simon disliked mashed peas. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh man, you wanted milestones? Yeah, milestones are definitely a huge- oh, he threw it on the floor! Milestones are definitely a huge selling point of the pack, for sure. I mean, it it is like one of the main features, isn't it? So. Let's try ice cream. Imagine he doesn't like ice cream. How exciting! Simon loved ice cream! Can I just say, out of every infant I've ever played with, which is quite a few by this point, maybe like seven? Every single one of them has loved ice cream. I don't know if that's on purpose, that it's like more commonly loved, uh, but every single infant I've played with has loved ice cream. <laughs> I think it checks out, I guess. A lot of people like ice cream. Uh, but yeah, every infant that I've played with has loved ice, loved ice cream. Do you want to play with the dog? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I zoomed out by accident. I pressed uh, one of the camera presets. Oh, hold on. Don't play with the dog let the dog out so it doesn't pee in the house. Then we can play with the dog. Okay, your social is getting low. You don't like ice cream? You're so valid in that. I understand. I understand. Oh my god, I actually- I can't get over this. I- I feel like I- I know I keep repeating myself and saying the same thing over and over again, but can you- also, can you change? Because I can't do this. <laughs> Um, but I just can't- I- I'm sorry, I'm so distracted by the outfit. Um, I can't get over the fact that we actually have the infant update now. Like, the fact that the infant update actually is here is so wild to me, because it just feels like something that was like a figment of our imagination <laughs> for years, you know? <laughs> Like, since, since I was, like, a, a teenager, we've been like, wow, wouldn't it be so cool to get a baby update? Like, we've just wanted this for so long. It's wild that it's actually here. It's really, really cool. Yeah, I see Caleb there. Usually I, I would delete him, but... Should I date him? Potential change of plans. Maybe I can have a vampire baby. Oh. I have the high maintenance trait? Why did I pick this sim? Oh my god, I'm a geek mean and high maintenance? <laughs> Why did I make this sim? What are you doing? Oh, do you want to get introduced to Simon? I made this sim in like May by the way. I just, I found them in my library and I was like, oh, I could play with them. Kind of forgot what I had done. So, mistake. Mistake. But, you know. Here we are. You handed the baby to a vampire?! Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What do you think he's gonna do with him? I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Well, I don't think that Simon minds. I feel like he's probably kind of excited. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait, I thought I fed you. Did you not? Feed. Okay, there we go. Um, 
Do you want to put Simone to sleep? How are you doing? Simon's getting tired too, but I think I might try to upgrade these. To Oh, no, no, no. Do the other one. Upgrade space. Because that might be kind of nice. Can this one be upgraded too? Oh, yeah. Not right now because somebody's in it, but... Okay, are you gonna fall asleep on your own? I know I could help you, but I'm busy. Fall asleep! Oh. Caleb, can you help? Oh, Simon just became friends with Crab? Oh my god, the baby and the dog are sleeping together on the floor! Okay, I'm gonna play a lullaby and I'm gonna put uh, Simon to bed. Look at how cute that is! Okay, I'm in a bad mood. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're unbearable. Who took the baby out of the bed? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, put infant to bed. I should have put them to bed earlier. I've sort of made a mistake here with this one. Do you want to soothe him to sleep? Okay, just leave him there, leave him there, leave him there. Try the other one. Oh no, she's on the floor asleep. Oh my god. Maybe I'll eat while I wait and then I'll put her to sleep. You'll fall asleep, you'll be fine. Oh good, okay. No, maybe not. Oh no. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Should I leave her, like, asleep on the floor? Maybe I'll try and get some sleep myself, and then I'll put her in the crib if she wakes up. She's fine! She's sleeping through the night. Oh no, she woke up. Spoke too soon. Awake and angry. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, that makes sense. You pooped your pants. I totally get it, totally get it. Change diaper. I'd be mad too, I'd be mad too. Totally relatable there with that one. Are you smelly? No, okay. Put Simone to sleep. Put Simone to sleep. Okay, should I try and like kiss goodnight? Soothe to sleep? Oh, I got no sleep myself, okay. Please stay asleep. <laughs> Please stay asleep. <laughs> no, the quirks are not base game. The quirks are one of the main features of the expansion pack. Um, so the quirks are not in the base game. Oh, we slept really well through the night. Uh-oh. Angry child. Don't blame you. I'd be mad too if I was hungry. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Baby care. Feed, bottle feed. Oh my god. You wanna go to the lounge? I'm, I'm like so busy right now. <laughs> I'm so busy right now. I actually cannot do that. Um, I need to bathe the toddler, or the toddler, the baby too, but I can't because I need to pee. Just put the kid down, pee, and then we can give the kid a bath. Simon. Oh my god. <laughs> Since baby- other babies are babies for a day on normal, how long on short? Ah! When we checked, um, when we checked, the bassinet baby aged up the next day, and the, uh, on- on normal lifespan, and on short lifespan it had them on the same day. So I don't know, like, maybe it's like 12 hours or something, uh, but I haven't actually seen officially yet how long it would take for the uh, bassinet babies, like, you know, by the hour. But it looks like they age up the bassinet babies on short lifespan on the same day that they're born, so. Would you like to feed the baby? Yes? Oh, are you getting into the trash or the dog's food? Both are bad. Oh my god, you got into the trash and now you smell again? I just gave you a bath. Why? <laughs> Why?
Why would you do that? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take a bath myself then. Child locks? Do you know what we should do? I have a little bit of money. Let's make like a, a baby section, okay? Honestly, I don't care to have a TV anymore. I've changed my mind about the TV. What I'm gonna do instead is play with the baby gates. And I'll make like a little baby gate section. Cause that might be a good way for me to like, you know, keep them. Okay. Um, try. I don't like that color swatch. It looks different to me and wrong. So I'm quite mad about that, actually. <sighs> okay. okay. I... Why are there less? Okay. Allow... No, no. Wait. Uh, apply baby proofing. Okay, does that mean you can't get out now? Haha! -ha! Okay, um, can you stop bathing? Maybe I'll give that one a bath and then- I'm so stressed out right now! <laughs> okay, maybe I'll give that one a bath and then I'll- I'll put it there, I don't know. Give bubble bath, Simon. <sighs> okay. This part is really cute though, I will say. The bath animations. Super adorable. I didn't know if this was base game or not. I saw these um, these sentiments when I was playing in early access. Look, Sammy has a whole heart sentiment. What a bliss this new baby brings to Sammy's life. I don't relate to that right now. The baby is actually causing me a lot of stress, but I'm sure I'll get over it soon. What is your problem now? Rest time from being awake too long? Okay. You already need an- I guess it is like 3 o'clock. So that kind of makes sense. What are you doing? Why does he stink still? I just gave you a bath! Is it a diaper thing? Surely like... I don't... But, but it's what I don't understand is, why did you bathe the kid without changing the diaper first? Like... Shouldn't that be like an autonomous thing? I don't know. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but like... Surely, if they've been- what do you want? Sleep! Don't! Change the diaper. Change the diaper! Change the diaper! Oh my god. Put- No! Don't pick the baby up! Oh my god. Oh my god, you're testing me so much right now, you have no idea. There we go. Diaper changed. Put Simon in the other crib. Can you, like, help this one sleep? No, no, you're already asleep. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, maybe I'll soothe you to sleep if you don't fall asleep on your own. You know when we thought toddlers were hard? Don't- what are you doing? That's actually like, kind of messed up. Hitting the baby's toys. My god. They need to calm down. <laughs> Okay, now the kids are asleep so we can take a bath, probably. And then let the dog out. The dog is like another problem. 
The dog is also a lot of work. Okay. Has to go potty. Good job. Where's the rocking chair from? Oh, that's from the Nifty Knitting Pack, actually. Okay, maybe I'll wake you up and I'll change your diaper and feed you and stuff, and then try and get you to sleep through the night. We'll see if we can manage that. Change diaper. Bottle feed. Give bath. We'll try it. What interactions do infants have with dogs? Oh, after I finish, maybe um, I can wake this one up and let him try after I finish taking care of this baby. I, it's better for me to have one awake at a time though, because I'm quite stressed out. High chair? I'll show you that again too. Again, um, at the moment, I am uh, slightly overwhelmed with the, the children's needs. So, um, rocking chair? Yeah, the rocking chair is from Nifty Knitting. The high chair is base game. Did I call it the wrong thing? Okay, that kid is fine. Here, let me feed this one. I'm stressed out. You need a second adult, Sam? I'm trying to make manage with just the one, but... It's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. Um, I guess I can try and feed him in the high chair, but uh, they don't gain that much hunger from the like trying foods. They still like mainly drink out of bottles and stuff, and the high chairs are like a bonus thing to help them try stuff. So he's not gonna get like that much hunger from trying these things. He likes sweet potato puree. But look how cute that is! Are you excited for Blaze's twins? Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> Very nervous, actually, about my sim having twins. <laughs> no, there's not skills for infants. Um, they don't have skills available to them, actually. Which is interesting. Blaze is gonna have twins, and Not So Berry, yeah, uh, twins are a requirement, actually, of the Not So Berry challenge. What's your problem? No fun times from low fun. Very tired, awake and angry, can't reach, oh my god. Whose idea was it to have an intense infant? Okay. Um, super stressed out. Please fall asleep. I'm just gonna go to bed. Hopefully, there we go. It worked. I need to upgrade this one too. I just- <gasps> What are you doing? You put him on the floor? <sighs> I didn't even notice that you had done that. Seriously, parent of the year. Like, what are you doing? Can you sleep again? Just sleep again. I'll bathe you in the morning. I'll bathe you. Sleep right there. It's fine. No, I'll bathe you now. Okay. <laughs> Quite stressed out. Okay, okay, okay. Change diaper. Here we go. Change diaper. Oh my god, change its diaper. Okay, maybe I can force you to change my diaper. No, I can't. Okay. Change diaper. Change diaper. There we go. Okay, there's a pile of pee on the floor, which is less than ideal. Why did you go for two infants? I have one of my is doing just fine. <laughs> okay, brag about it. No, the dog is rolling in the pee! I don't have time to bathe you also! Oh my god. I feel like I've made a whole bunch of mistakes today. I mean, like... Oh, I didn't put the baby in there. That's fine. Do you want to play? That'll get your fun up. Okay, mop that now. Mop it first. Um, maybe you could take a bath yourself. 
Loving the struggle? I'm not. It's only two. No shame in hiring a nanny. Yeah, but I don't have any money. What are you mad about? Missing being held from being put down. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here we go. Maybe while I wait. Hold on. We can check out some of the uh, pet things. So babies can watch, smile at, sleep next to, pet, and coo at uh, the pets, which is kind of cute. Do they add baby wearing? Um, there's like a baby carrier in the pack, but not in the growing together pack that's coming out on Thursday, but there isn't one in the base game. Oh my god. I need to save. Gotta have seven or glue on as you beat. I'm gonna make a video doing the seven infant challenge, Violet. Uh, I don't really want to do that right now, because I'm more interested in, like, playing with infants in a, a more uh, realistic way than I will probably end up playing with them. Oh my god, look how cute they are! <laughs> That's so cute. But yeah, today I kind of wanted to play, like, normally a little. Um, yeah, I noticed that sentiment, too. We got a sentiment with the dog. You're fascinated by crab! Oh, that's really cute. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'll feed you first. Winterfest starts tomorrow. Oh, I'll be curious to see, like, do you think Santa gives anything to the babies? That'll be interesting. I guess we shall find out. Play dolls, your fun's low. Wake up the baby, you need to feed him? He better give me something for Winterfest, otherwise I'll be mad. Come on. I'm not going to a festival. I need to bathe the dog after this, too. Why so many ugly dogs? Okay, Angela, I don't actually think this one's ugly. I mean, it's not that bad. Why won't you feed the kid? I almost cheated it. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. I'm gonna be honest though, really, really tempted to do that. Extremely tempted. Okay, feed the kid. There we go. And then put Simon down. <sighs> Ugly in a cute way? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, play lullaby. Try that. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Are you gonna play the lullaby? Well, the kid's already asleep now. <laughs> Is anybody else really stressed out right now? I'm gonna save the game again. Um... Okay, okay. So nerve wracking. Um, okay. The dog is playing in the puddle again, which is annoying. But that's fine. I have to bathe the dog anyway, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, wait. Did you just wake up the baby? You did not wake up the baby. You went in there and barked at the baby? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't I still don't have anything in there for you. You still are not asleep because the dog woke you up. Oh my god. Okay, lullaby, please. I still haven't had a chance to upgrade the other one because so much is happening. Still think he's cute? You know what? I changed my mind. I don't think the dog is cute anymore. At all. I actually am not a fan of the dog right now. Note to self, train dogs before having babies. <laughs> yeah, train the dogs to not wake you up. Quickly. <laughs> if you've got any dogs in your Sims household right now, Maybe just get training, you know? Oh my god, I did it again! <gasps> oh, 
Stop! Stop! My baby is exhausted and can't sleep because of you! I'm- I'm going to cry. I- I'm gonna lock the door for the dog. I'm gonna make it so the dog can't come in here. Like, you're not invited. You can't get in the room anymore. Okay. Soothe the baby to sleep. Okay, my fun is like super low as well. Can you scold the dog for barking, please? <sighs> ah! Oh my god. Now my sim's so tired. Oh, don't nap. Like, sleep for real then. Whatever. Sleep for real. Sleep for real is fine. Okay. Everything's safe right now. Things appear to be calm. Spoke too soon. Um... <laughs> No! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. You know, everyone... I think that we should- we should really consider following up on that dating Caleb thing. Cuz I think that my life would be a lot better if I had another sim. If that sim has to be a vampire, then so be it. But... Uh, I think that my life would be easier if there were two of me, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, I'm- I am outnumbered, and uh, life is rough, so... <laughs> um... Annoyingly, it's like midnight and the baby is- is like well-rested. Which is kind of, um... Causing me some problems. But I would like to finish sleeping as well, so I'm just gonna- there we go, okay. Okay. No! Not okay! It's not okay! Alright, next baby. Next baby. Alright. Well, um, I've- I've now fed you. Would you like to have your diaper changed? Hunter Baby Challenge? Don't even say those words to me. I don't want to hear the words 100 Baby Challenge ever again. I'm not ready for that yet. What are you doing? Oh my god, my fun is so low. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a TV anymore. Um, do you want to... Uh... Idea! I'm going to the gym. And I'm gonna watch TV at the gym. And the babies can stay home. They're gonna be fine. Someone else can come. <laughs> They'll be fine. I need a break. I, I need to get out of there for a second, okay? I just, I need to like come here. I'm gonna come here and watch some TV. <sighs> Maybe I'll go buy some food while I'm at it. I'm stressed out. How are they doing? Yeah, it's working on their needs. That's good. Okay. I'll try and get my fun all the way up. Oh my god, it's Christmas. Maybe? Wait, 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 wait. I know we talked about uh, woohooing with, with the vampire. What if I woohooed with Daddy Winter instead? What do you think about that? That might help me with my fun problems as well. And he has a lot of money. So. That might be an idea. Okay, I came here because I wanted to buy myself a, a meal. I should probably buy myself a drink. No, I want to I wanna order food. How about some... How about a pretzel? You want a pretzel? Still can't get over the outfit? No, I don't understand how they- I, I guess, I mean, I know that I have given this to them. But I made this sim so long ago that I forgot I had done this. So it really took me by surprise when I saw it. And now I wear this all over the place. Otherwise, they're a very normal, like, honestly kind of cool sim. 
They have some nice outfits. Look at this outfit. They, they like actually look really good. Somehow I managed to make my first pet stuff hair look cool. No, that's their cold weather outfit. So that's why... Oh, I never fixed the roof. <laughs> I moved the roof when I did was testing out the stairs and I never fixed it. Whoops. <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Um, let me get a decoration box, honestly. Because then I can decorate for Santa. Okay. Oh, cute! Okay. Baby's first holiday! You seem to be doing okay, actually. Do you want to play with this, the dolls? Did you see that? Um, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> jump scare, jump scare. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, maybe I'll try and get some rest then. The kids appear to be like just hanging out, so I might be able to do that a little. This will, ah! Stop. Stop. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. You entirely missed it twice. Did somebody clip it? If I can get a link, I can show you. I'll tell you what, I don't like it. It's, you know how um, they like stretch sometimes? It's just, it's just that, it's just the stretching glitch. Can babies play together? Do you know what, I haven't tested that yet. Here, let me come uh, feed this one. And then I'll test it. Oh wait, no, this one's getting a little bit tired. Maybe I'll put that one to sleep, and then we'll test it after they wake up. Will infants be more fun in the expansion? Infants have a lot of really cool stuff being added for them in the expansion. Um, oh, she's fallen asleep. Okay, um, maybe I'll try and upgrade this. And then... I'll worry about it later. Oh, I didn't play this one yet. Oh, I don't need to. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, so the expansion has a lot of uh, additional stuff for them. So I would argue, yes, uh, the expansion will have a lot more fun stuff for them. Which is kind of the whole point of there being an expansion. <laughs> um, which is good, which is good. But I think that infants are kind of fun um, even without the expansion. Obviously, we've all wanted this kind of thing for so long, so... Um, I, I think it's fun, but there's a lot of extra stuff in the expansion, obviously. Oh, here's the stretching. Wait, look at this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look! I don't know about that. <laughs> That's not an uncommon glitch. That happens like all the time, in fact, um, to like toddlers even and stuff. Uh, <laughs> you gotta admit, it's kind of scary. <laughs> okay, hopefully that helps you sleep. Let me empty the trash. Scary. Do you want to serve lunch? How about some franks and beans? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh. The cat has stood up. <sighs> don't turn around and look at her, Kayla, because if I do, she'll leave! Oh, no! Okay, well, we had a good run with the cat cam, to be honest. Until we got abandoned. Okay, I'm gonna buy the present pile. I'm curious to see if the infants can open presents. I'm gonna go with... I don't really think they can. Yeah, I suppose they don't have, like, any fine motor skills. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that they can't do anything to the presents. <laughs> yeah, toddlers can open them. Oh, I got an element. Huh. Worth ten simoleons. Okay. 
Do you wanna feed the baby? Bottle feed, perhaps? Sure, oh, no, you're not feeding the baby yet. Let's try again. Can they play in the snow? Ooh, good idea, how tired are you? Oh, this one's kind of tired. I might let her sleep a little bit longer. And then we can play in the snow once they're more rested. That goes for all of my sims, to be honest. Everyone could use some rest. Okay. Your infant does not sleep in the crib. They glitch. In what way do they glitch? Do they glitch, like, in a the game is broken kind of way, or do they just struggle to fall asleep? Because I know that a lot of the babies, um, that's sort of like a gameplay feature where they can struggle to sleep. So I'm, I'm wondering if that maybe is, or it might actually be a glitch, I'm not sure. Um, first MC Command Center hotfix is dropped. Oh my god. <laughs> that's such a relief. <laughs> okay, good. That means we'll have it. I won't, I don't need to get it right now, but. Oh, hi snap. I'll have it tomorrow though when we play, which will be good. Um, okay. I changed your diaper. Do you wanna come put the baby down? Over here. Okay, so first of all, you might wanna change your outfit. <laughs> Cause you're not wearing winter clothes. <laughs> The give nap feature doesn't work. They get put on the floor. Oh, really? I haven't really had that problem myself. That's so bizarre how bugs happen like that. Okay, will you change Simone's outfit? What are you doing? Okay. Now I want to put Simone down on the snow. I want to see if she can do anything. Okay, I can't do anything. Give nap works for you. Yeah, when I played with, granted I've played with the nap thing with the pack, not with the base game, um, but it is a base game feature. But when I've played with it, um, they like the adult sim sits in a chair and holds them while they nap. So oh, I can't get presents from Santa. Boo. Boo. Don't see mobiles on any cribs. Oh, it's an upgrade. Uh, it's an upgrade. So when you click on the crib, um, oh, I already upgraded mine, so I can't. When you click on the crib, you can choose to upgrade it to have one and you can pick between two versions. There's like this bird version and then there's a space version. So it's a, it's an upgrade that you do for the crib. Um, so they don't just have it like in build mode or anything. You have to upgrade it in game. So your sim like adds it to it. Do the infants have to greet him first to get presents? I don't think that they can. I mean, they can't open presents, so. I can, I can bite him. Should I bite him? I'll bite Santa. Chomp. 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 Here we go. Good job. <laughs> okay, um, can you get put to bed by Santa next, please? Thank you. No. Okay. <sighs> Biting was better than presents? I actually think I agree, to be honest. All right, do you want to baby care, bottle feed? And I guess change diaper as well, because we all smell. And then I need to get, um, I need to get presents from Santa. And then I need to bathe the dog. And then uh, I guess what I'll probably do first though, is like try and get to know Santa. What are you doing? Put the kid down. Stop! Oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> How much longer of this? Two days? <laughs> oh, and now Santa's leaving. I think I messed up. Okay. 
Okay. Um. This is a lot. It's a lot of work. To be honest. Oh, he gets his fun up really fast at least. That's a relief. Okay, put Simon to bed and then we'll go to sleep too. What are you doing? Okay, Simon, you have to sleep on the floor. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Well, now you're awake again. Oh my god. <laughs> the babies are so much work. My cat is staring at the screen, by the way. She's, like, fascinated by this. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Save the game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can they dance to music? Oh, I haven't tested that yet. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'll buy, like, a little, um... Thingy. We'll see if they can do some dancing. Okay. I suppose I'll feed you first. <laughs> oh my god. Bottle feed. Okay. Your infant complained about music? Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of fun. I guess I'll turn on, like... Maybe I'll put on... Snap! I can't see! Hello? Maybe I'll turn on kids' radio. And then... I'll put Simone down over here. We'll see if she can listen to it. I was trying to be a good parent and I got the unhappy infant trait? Oh. Really? Oh yeah, I can't turn it off. Okay, well. Or I can't do anything to the music. Babies can't listen to music, apparently. Wait, do you want to play with your sibling? Smile at who at? I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Can we start building a family home today with a nursery for us to download? You know, I think we're gonna focus more on the gameplay of this today. Um, and we can maybe build tomorrow for it. What do you think about that? Was he playing with a diaper? Is that what was happening? I didn't even notice. Were they playing with a dirty diaper? Oh god. Yeah, they don't have that many interactions together, but they can like smile at each other and stuff. Until they go to sleep on the floor. Okay. Would you like to put Simone in this bed, please? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Put infant to bed, Simone. Come on. Okay. Play lullaby, twinkle twinkle little star. All right. This one needs fed again. This is a lot. Yeah, I think the tummy time is only in the pack. Uh, the tummy time plays like a pretty serious role in the, in the pack gameplay. Um, like, you do tummy time to, like, get your sim through milestones. Because once they- dislikes the lullabies radio, no. Once they, uh, like, first roll over, then they- they all have to, like, pull- hold their head up themselves, they have to roll over, they have to sit up themselves. And so you do the tummy time, um, in the pack for them to practice all of those things. Um, but that is not a thing that is in the base game, I don't think. The rocking chair is from Nifty Knitting Jewels. The Growing Together pack is coming with a another rocking chair. Two new rocking chairs actually in Growing Together. Okay, hopefully they'll sleep like through the night. I need to get some leftovers. I also need to bathe the dog. Oh, turn off the radio, please. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna bathe the dog? Severely regretting- what are you doing? Don't pick the kid up. Let him sleep. He'll sleep. Severely regretting uh, having all these kids. <laughs> no, I don't think the pack releases at midnight. I think the pack comes out in the afternoon on Thursday. Um, Eastern time. So it'll be like the evening probably in Europe. Um, if that makes any sense. We're gonna sleep all day. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> 
gonna be rough. Um, Origin says 5 p.m. GMT. Really? Okay, that makes sense then. Same time as the update, okay. Very cool. Um, kid is miserable. Less cool. <laughs> it's like constant. This is why I'm kind of worried. I feel like if your sim is trying to have a job, I don't know how you're gonna do that. Honest, I, I don't know how you're gonna work and have these infants. I mean, you won't usually have two of them, but it's almost like real life. Yeah. <laughs> And caring for an infant in The Sims is a full-time job. Ugh! It's the bath glitch. I had this problem in early access, too. What's that? Ouch for being bitten by infant? Oh, God. You bit Santa. I didn't think you were gonna bite me. Okay. Set down over here. You can play some dolls now. I'm wondering if when they age up, they might have, like... Some bonus traits. There's bottles everywhere. Do you see this? And maybe some bonus skills. I don't know. Okay, do you want to hug the dog and then use the bathroom? Take an angry poop? Okay, I'm hugging the dog on the toilet. This is one thing that I noticed about the infants. Um, that they could, like, keep breastfeeding on the toilet and stuff. Um, they would just hold them, like, a lot. <laughs> Which, uh, is, I mean, it's nice, I guess. Multitasking is very different than the olden days of The Sims, but... You do that? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Checks out, I think. What are you doing? Okay, you changed his diaper. That's good, I guess. I was gonna try and take care of the bait or the dog, but... Oh, you pooped your pants! Ugh. Okay, do you want to feed this one? We only have to make it through like one more day, everybody. We're almost there. We're almost there. Everything's fine. Um, everything's fine. Baby care, change diaper. Should invite us in to visit me. Oh, the like long-term stays. Those long-term visits are actually from the growing together pack. They're not in the base game. So, Chibi Laura with the 66 month resub. Hey, oh my god. What are you doing? Why didn't you bathe that one? Oh, let's see if he can play with the diaper. You can say what's that to the diaper. Oh, you can't play with it. Okay. Give bath, Simon. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Everything's fine. Simon's doing great. I'll let him play a little bit after this. Snap, I can't see. <laughs> My cat keeps standing up in front of the screen. Um, Simon, do you wanna play dolls a little? Maybe I will wake up this baby and feed her. Okay. Baby care, feed, bottle feed. Okay. How do you stop your infant from having constant diaper blowouts? I don't think you can. Unfortunately, I fear that they just do. <laughs> I fear that they just do have diaper blowouts. Um, okay. Put each kid to bed. Maybe I'll play with the dog and then go to sleep. Just like in real life? Yeah, I think so. Oh, can you bathe infants in the sink? Good question. Yes. So I assume it's the same as toddlers, where it's not like a full bath, um, but it uh, it cleans them like a little bit. Similar to like how when you have your sim wash their hands in the sink, you get a little bit of hygiene. Um, so you can do that, which is nice, I guess. Can I do it? I mean, I could do it now, I guess. Yeah, clean up Simone. Let's check it out. They basically just like throw them in the air and there's like bubbles and then they get a little tiny bit of hygiene. It's similar to having your Sam wash their hands. It really isn't that big, but you could do it like five or six times. 
Um, and then get their hygiene up higher, which is kind of useful. Okay, play lullaby. Go to sleep. How long till they age up? <gasps> Today! <laughs> oh, yes! Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, toddlers can do the, like, the wash in the sink as well. That's been a thing since Snowy Escape. Um, so it's actually been a thing for quite a while now. Okay. Would you like to change diaper? Feed? Bottle feed? Oh my god. Can they taste test cake on the high chairs? Oh, I don't actually know about that. That's interesting. Oh my god, there's bottles everywhere on the floor! How are you doing? You're fine, actually. Just put the kid down. And then you can eat and stuff. Okay. Okay. Get leftovers, take a bath. Oh. Mary Caleb, vampires don't need to sleep. That's true, it would be easier if we had Caleb around. We talked about doing that, but then I felt like I had so much to do in order to, um, in order to, like, take care of the kids. I didn't think I had time to marry Caleb. There wasn't enough time to, like, get to know him even. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can show you toddler and infant interactions. We'll age up one baby first and then the other one afterward. That's a good idea. They can interact with each other a little bit. Like, these babies can, um, choose to, like, smile at each other and stuff, but there isn't that many, uh, infant, uh, infant interactions, but there's a few toddler and infant interactions that can be done. So, we can try and do that when we age them up. I wonder if today I can try and have them work a little bit more on some skills and stuff. Like maybe if you play with these, I'm wondering if they play with these things as as babies, if they'll gain like a little bit of extra skills when they grow up. Cause I had some, like when I aged up infants before when I was playing in early access, sometimes they would get like two level one skills. So barely anything, but they would get a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how it works though. So I'm kind of curious to see. Do you want to play with that? Put me down. I want to play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, what are the stages again? Is it toddler then infant or infant then toddler? Oh no, infant is first. So they're they're like the bassinet baby first first, you know? Then they age up from the bassinet baby into an infant. And infant is basically like a fancy word for, for like interactable baby <laughs> in the Sims 4. Um, and then after infant, they become a toddler. So, uh, these infants are young. They're like babies that can crawl. Not quite a toddler, but a baby that can crawl. Where's Crab? Asleep on this. Or just hanging out on that, I guess. Oh, there's more bottles in here. There's bottles and diapers everywhere! <laughs> there's bottles and diapers everywhere! Okay. Make them both nap. Maybe I'll make them both nap, and then I'll try and bake a cake and age up one of them. Stop hitting that! What are you doing? Okay, maybe feed this one? No, no. Feed. Bottle feed. Come on. Come on. Oh, I picked her up from inside of the thing. Okay. Can I make you use your diaper right now? So that way I can change it and then put you to bed? Use your own diaper. Yes! Okay. Um, would you like to baby care, change diaper, and then put Simone to sleep? No, no, no. There we go. Okay. My goodness. Kids are in the cribs. Let's bake a cake. Is she back? Oh. Oh. Good. <laughs> she was here for a while. She left for a second and now she's back. I wonder what she's been up to. I guess she was on the desk for a while. Yeah, money trash can honestly would be super useful with all these bottles and things. Although, I don't know if you can throw the bottles away. It seems like the bottles are um, washable, which is probably a good thing that they're not disposable like that, but... <laughs> um, why don't I have a change table for base game? Friend, I don't know. I was pretty sad about that too. I don't know why they didn't do one for base game. Um, 
you don't really need one. If I'm being honest, and I, I hate to like ruin the vibes here, but when I was playing, they would always use the changing table. They wouldn't change diapers normally. They would do it on the changing table. It genuinely felt a little inconvenient. Like, I know we like the furniture idea, and, and it's like fun for realism and stuff, but like, actually though, this, and not using a changing table, feels easier. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, that part is kind of an improvement, to be honest. <laughs> um, which, I don't know. I do like the changing table, but... It's interesting. You can, with the changing table, you can attach a diaper trash can to it and the diapers will immediately go into the trash can. But I kind of like the diapers being on the floor, so. Uh, I've kind of enjoyed it. Alright, I'm gonna age up this baby first. I want to do some, like, toddler and infant interactions, so. Um. Inconvenient in real life, too. <laughs> Just laying down a towel on the floor. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot of baby changing experience. Um. But I've seen people say that. Yeah, there are cloth diapers, Maddie. Um, if you have laundry day, you can use cloth diapers, and instead of it putting a diaper on the floor, it makes laundry. But I find laundry annoying, so. Did I not get a bonus trait? Okay, so I'm neither good or bad. <laughs> oh. I'm just fine. I didn't get a good trait or a bad trait. Okay. You had a changing pad that you use in the living room and then a, ch a table in your daughter's room? That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I think to get the bonus trait from infant to toddler, they have to be in a really good mood a lot, probably, right? I assume. I haven't really played with it that much to know, so we'll have to see. Can you pick the baby up? I want her to interact with her brother. Okay, put Simone down. Okay. So the baby to the toddler can watch Smile and Coo at, but the toddler to the baby can watch, entertain, and babble. Aww, that's kinda cute actually. You can- this gives you a good sense of the scale of them as well. Um, Yesterday when I was showing off my early access footage, people were like, oh my god, did toddlers get taller? No. The babies are just really small. Like, really, really small. It makes the toddler look so big, doesn't it? Um. Oh, look, wait a minute, the birthmark did stay! Oh, cool! We were testing that, we were wondering if the birthmarks you put on in cast would age up with them, and it did! The birthmark did stay. That's really good. I'm relieved. I was expecting it to go away and we have to put it back, so... I mean, obviously it makes sense that it stayed. I just, you know... Low expectations. <laughs> low expectations, so I, I thought it was gonna go away I have to put it back, but I didn't have to put it back. That's cool. Um, that's really cool. I don't know if Freckles will age up with them now, so that's gonna be interesting to see. Does he have toddler skills already? Um, it looks like he's gotten... I don't really think so. <laughs> I don't really think so. Um, okay, should I... I don't know, I kind of want to age up the next baby too. Just to see if we get a different trait with that one. I'm curious to see, because we didn't get any trait. I have gotten a, like, a good trait from aging up well. I didn't know that you could age up bad. But someone in chat said they did, so... Let's see if we can get the bad one. She's in a bad mood. We didn't get anything. I think that they're just neutral. I think my- my babies are neutral. Not good or bad. Hmm. How do I force bad things to happen? Let me go- hold on. Let's play in a different household. Because this way we can look at some of the kids' stuff. And maybe I'll ignore them a little bit more. Maybe I'll have the goth family have a kid and then ignore them. Look, it's wrong, but it's for science. Okay? It's wrong, but it's for science. 
Okay, I would like to have a science baby, please. Look, we can do it with Mortimer though, which is kind of cool. Thank you. I want a baby. It's a boy! Um, Gulliver Goth! Oh, wait. I was gonna ask for suggestions, but that's actually really good. <laughs> you know what? That's a good one. I, we don't need suggestions. <laughs> Gulliver Goth is a great name. Okay, let's just come age this one up then. Ugh, you have to wait a second, I think. Poor Gulliver Goth. You're gonna have a rough time. Okay, baby care, age up. Yay! Aww, and we're cautious. Okay. You look cute, you have a little frog shirt on. Your outfit actually kind of matches. Okay. Let's get... Um, maybe I'll put a crib just in here. You know? This one will probably match the room. Sure. Can you adopt infants? Oh, that's right! I haven't- people were asking that yesterday and I haven't checked that yet. Household... Oh, it's not hire a service, it's call adoption agency. Sorry! <laughs> uh, call adoption agency. Adopt child. I just want to see. I don't want another kid, but I wanted to see. Um, these ones are infants, yeah? Yeah. So you can adopt infants. Babies, infants, toddlers, and children. I figured that you could. I just hadn't actually tested it yet. Okay, so how about this? Let's not take care of the baby. Yeah? Let's just not and see what happens. Um, anyway, this is one of the new things in the update too. <laughs> Obviously you can see what skill the sims are gaining, um, but also they did a couple things for children's skills. Number one, they tuned it so that the like fundamental skills now gain faster. So playing the piano, we're gaining the creativity skill pretty quickly. Um, so it's a little bit easier to, to like do it. It's not much of a grind to finish the aspiration, but kids can also gain some of the adult skills. So they kind of talked about how back in the day, as in yesterday, um, <laughs> before the update, your sim could like play piano their entire childhood, have like level nine creativity skill as a kid, but then get to be a teen and then have like level zero piano, as if they never played it before, and it makes no sense. So they made some skills available for the kids to earn as kids. Um, they just earn it a little bit slower than an adult would, um, but they can earn like piano, violin, logic, some stuff like that, um, which is kind of nice. So there's like two categories of like fundamental and then skills now, which is interesting. And also apparently the kids get along better and like build friendship faster with other kids. Oh, Alexander is adoring of Cassandra. That's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, I'm not trying to get the baby taken away, by the way. I just want the baby to be not happy so I can see what happens when I age up a not happy toddler or a not happy infant into a toddler. So I'm just gonna watch it for a sec and see. I'm just curious. I'll let Bella take care of the kid herself. I won't intervene. We can just watch her and see what happens. Okay, kid's in a really bad mood, needs help, no fun. Oh, I don't have any toys. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get some toys, I forgot about that. <laughs> here kid, I'll give you some toys in here. Um, that'll do. No toys? Oh wait, that's right, because I want them to be miserable, don't I? Oh, sorry. Forgot we're trying to be in a bad mood. You're so right. You're also mean and a bad person. But you're so right. Okay, should we all just go to sleep? It's like 2 a.m. No, don't nap. Sleep. Um. Cassie, do you want to sleep or not? 
Creativity level four, that's pretty good. What is happening? Oh, I'm just trying to make my, my infant be upset. Not taken away, but upset. How upset do you think you have to be? Why are we in the goth house? Oh, I'm, t I'm testing out. I want a baby to age up with a bad tray. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll come make a cake. I wonder if we can try and do it like today. Or if it's not long enough. I might test it and then like close without saving if it doesn't work. Just feed him and don't interact with him otherwise. Yeah, I guess that's true. Can someone come feed the baby? Um, baby care. Feed. 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 Can I show a cloth diaper, please? It's not as interesting as you think it is, Maddie. Um, literally, the only difference is if you have laundry day and you say, um, use cloth diapers. You know when I change the diaper and a diaper appears on the floor? The only difference is that instead of a diaper, there's like a laundry pile from laundry day that appears on the floor. Um, so it just gives you laundry instead of dirty diapers. Um, that's the only difference. So, it's, it isn't like a visual difference or anything like that, or like a difference in how your sim changes it or whatever. Um, it is a cute functionality like with the pack though. So that part is kind of cool. Put the kid down! No, put the kid down. Put the kid down! Okay, I'll leave it in the crib. Where's the cake? Okay, don't... Can you add some birthday candles? Maybe? Seven. Maybe? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I should age it up now, or if I should wait until later. Don't talk to him! Don't talk to him. Oh yeah, Lucy, that's a great, uh, great question. I, well, you're just pointing it out, but um, that's a great point that you make that people might have missed hearing me say. Um, yeah, the reason that I'm live early for some of you is because the U.S. changed our clocks over the weekend. So our, my clocks went back on Sunday, um, and so, uh, or forward, I guess. Um, our clocks changed on Sunday, uh, which is why our time difference might be different right now. So I'm still going live at four o'clock Eastern time. The difference is that four o'clock Eastern time might be a different time than you're used to. <laughs> Cause it's a weird time change thing where like if you haven't changed clocks yet or if your country doesn't change clocks, the time difference might be different. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Can toddlers learn adult skills like children can? Oh no. Toddlers still have toddler skills. I think that would be way too much if toddlers could learn adult skills. Like, I mean, a toddler's not playing the piano, are they? You know? Um. So, aside from cloth diapers, why do diapers end up on the floor? Why wouldn't the Sims just route to the trash can after a diaper change? Sammy, I think that um, there's a disconnect here between like, um, I think that they did it on purpose as like a fun Sims thing. Cause they, it used to do that in old Sims games. So I think that like the diapers on the floor thing is like a fun, silly Sims thing. It's like kind of an iconic like, thing that used to happen in old Sims games. So if you haven't played those old Sims games and you don't have that like nostalgia factor, it might be like, this is so bizarre. But I think they did it on purpose because of that. Um, as like an ode to the Sims 2, basically. Um, so anyway, weird, but no. So kids can learn adult skills. What they were asking is because kids can learn adult skills now. Um, not even after maxing things, just in general, they can learn some adult skills. They were asking if toddlers can learn adult skills and toddlers cannot learn adult skills. Kids can, that's even part of the update. You don't need to max the skill to start learning some adult skills, but um, toddlers cannot is the question that somebody asked. Okay, do you wanna wake up and be miserable? Maybe I'll try and age the baby up right now And then we can see if it turns out bad for us. I don't know. Maybe I should wait longer. I'll just have low attention maybe. Don't talk to the baby. Get out. 
Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, I'm leaving the kid in there. It's not hungry yet. So, no! What are you doing? Get out! Oh, you were in the bathroom probably. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I locked the door. I'll leave the baby in here to be left alone. And then I'll age it up. And hopefully things will go bad for us. You should go into cast and look at the baby teeth. They make a horrible hissing sound. Really? Why? Really? I don't- I tested the teeth, but I didn't notice that. Oh no. Okay. Let me find out. Now I'm kind of scared. Hold on. Modifying cast! They make a what? I don't know. Apparently the babies make a horrible hissing sound in Cass. Nooch. <laughs> oh my god, he looks like a goth, doesn't he? He looks just like the other goth sims. So, there's a few skin details obviously that you can pick from, but there's also some baby teeth that you can pick from. Ah! What is that? Even my cat turned around to look. What is that? Make it stop. Oh my god, why are you hissing at me? It just keeps looping as well. Ew. Ew. I wanted to stop! I wanted to stop! Why did you tell me about that? <laughs> Why are you making me experience that? <laughs> okay, I want to be out of cast now. Yikes. Huh. Um. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just really wanted everyone to suffer the way you did. Oh my god. I guess I don't blame you, huh? No, oh, the baby's asleep now. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna keep triple speeding, probably, until uh, the baby is more miserable, and then I'll try and age it up. I just want to see if we can get the bad trait. I'm sorry, I know it sounds bad, but this is something I really would like to see. Uh, join in on the prank. I don't care. <laughs> um, Plumbella said the build buy for going together is lacking. Do you agree? I want to know if you think the pack is worth buying. I didn't think the build buy was lacking. I think that the, the doors and windows are my favorites out of any pack we've ever gotten. Um, I, I think that the furniture isn't my fave. So when we talk about build buy, it's like build and buy, right? I think build is one of my favorites ever. Buy, there's a lot of stuff for the rec center that I'm probably not gonna use in my regular everyday house builds. Um, but there is some some nice furniture. It's not my favorite buy mode pack. It is one of my favorite build mode packs though, I think. Um, so, I don't know, It's there's always a balance, right? But this one has a lot of things for the rec center that are not like my favorite items. Um, to just say the opposite, really? That's really interesting. I mean, everybody's got different opinions on, um, like, the furniture styles and stuff, so, like, what one person loves, somebody else might hate, you know? Um, which makes sense. So that's one of the, those things that you have to kind of, like, look at the items and sort of, like, try and determine if you think you would use them. Um, but there's new wallpapers, but there's not new floors. There's a couple really nice tiles 
Um, there's like a chevron tile and then like a nice bathroom tile. There's a couple exterior wallpapers. There's like some stone things. There's a paneling thing. There's like a metal thing. Um, so there's no flooring though. It's just wallpapers. Um, yeah, I'm posting a review of the pack tomorrow on YouTube where we like really get into a lot of stuff like that. I guess we didn't talk about build by too much. We talked about mostly the gameplay of the pack, but there's one new flooring. Are you sure? What floor is it? Is there a tile floor that matches? Oh, it's the chevron tile? I don't know if that was in the game when I did my builds for the pack. Oh, Della used it in her builds? Really? Oh, I don't want to go to prom. Um, why- why do I feel like I don't remember that tile floor? Huh. Might have been a late ad. Oh, maybe that's why. Oh, Deli requested the matching floor tile. Oh, that makes sense. Um. Yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't even see it. <laughs> there's not- so there's not a lot of floors in the pack. Um. Yeah, I'm just thinking I didn't even realize it was there because I kept using base game floors, but it must not have been there the whole time when I was doing the builds, but... Um, what's the difference between build and buy? When I'm talking about build, I'm talking about like building the shell of a building. So build is like this stuff. Windows, doors, the spandrels, the columns, like the, the build part. Buy is like the furniture. Does that make sense? Um, that's kind of the, um, distinction that I would use. But, anyway. Um, very sad. Food now, awaken sad. Okay, I'm gonna leave you a little bit longer and then I'll age you up. I think that's a good idea. Um, okay. The early access period is so weird, because... <laughs> Um, I always feel like, uh, whenever I hear- obviously I don't know what other people think about the pack when I'm, like, filming my early access f footage. I just know what I think about the pack. And so I'll be like, this is my favorite build mode ever. And then early access ends, and then my whole chat's like, well, everybody else said it's the worst one ever. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then I feel like I'm being accused of lying. I don't think that anyone in chat is accusing me of lying, but it, it makes me feel really weird because I'm like, oh, well, I had like a complete opposite opinion of that. And I like, I don't know, it's just kind of nerve wracking, I guess, <laughs> when people like say like, well, somebody else hated it. Because obviously everybody has different tastes, but um, I, I think I just have a lot of anxiety about that kind of thing because people accuse me of being like paid off by EA and I'm just saying nice things because I, I don't want to stop getting early access, which is the dumbest thing I have literally ever heard. Because I've said so many bad things about Sims packs. <laughs> like, I've made entire videos called Everything Wrong with Realm of Magic. Like, I'm not going to stop getting early access because I don't like something. It's a stupid thing to say, but people on the internet think that. Um, so I always, I have some anxiety about people thinking that I'm lying about something. <laughs> Cause why would I lie? This is the thing, right? I always, I almost like take offense to that accusation because like, I, why would I come on here and be like, hello kids, you should spend $40 on something that I'm pretending to like. Like, I'm not trying to get you to waste your money. That feels like so dirty. <laughs> it's it's like kind of a mean accusation to like imply that I would suggest these people spend all this money on a thing that I secretly hate. Like, why would I do that? You know, like I would, I <laughs> obviously I like a lot of the Sims packs, but I also just like the Sims, you know? Like there's a reason that I make Sims videos and it's because I just like the Sims. Um, anyway, I don't- I don't lie about Sims packs. I have no- no motivation to lie. Ugh, I didn't get any good traits. Or any bad traits either. Boo. But, anyway, I'm never gonna, like, suggest that you buy a thing that I hate. I'm never gonna pretend to like something. There's no point in doing that, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm never gonna pretend to like a thing. Why would I? My goodness. Um, 
Yeah, I say before blowing out the candles, I'm gonna try and cancel it and see if I can keep the kid being miserable for longer. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly, Sarah. Everybody has different favorite build styles. Um, in fact, this craftsman style is just one of my favorites ever, you know? Everybody kind of has different opinions on stuff like that, which is the fun of it all, isn't it? Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna lock the door again. <laughs> oh, I need to feed the kid, don't I? Hold on. I want the kid to age up with a bad trait. I just don't know how long I have to do it for, for it to start, you know? <laughs> you know? Um, okay, are you good? Maybe I'll put you to sleep then afterward. We can all go to sleep. Yeah, that's an interesting point too. Like obviously people, you can criticize something and then still like, other parts of it like you can you can think that like you know to give uh, the wedding pack as an example because the wedding pack is horrible um i can think that the gameplay in the wedding pack is super bugged and a nightmare but also think the cast is really good at the same time you know like we can kind of have those opinions at once <laughs> you you can have like a, a you know multifaceted opinion on something <laughs> Um, so, and you can like certain parts of gameplay and, and not like other parts. I loved the world in the wedding pack, you know, um, thought the build mode wasn't that good though, because there wasn't a ton of build mode in general. So you just kind of have different thoughts on this stuff. Maybe I'll put it on short lifespan and then see if he ages up faster. Hold on, gameplay. That might help. Yeah, and then also some packs are, exactly, some people might love one pack when someone else hates it. Um, Cause like, you know, sometimes the gameplay is just not for you. Like, to be honest, I don't really like the vampires pack. I never play with vampires. It's just not for me. Like if I wasn't a YouTuber, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Like I, I don't really have a, I don't know. I just don't need vampires. I never use it. I like the world a little bit, but also it kind of sucks. So I don't even know if I do or not. It's just, I've had it for a while. So I'm used to it. Why are you bathing him? Ugh. But like, I probably wouldn't have bought the vampire pack, but you might love vampires and like always play with them, you know? Um, so it kind of, it's just, everybody's got different um, favorite parts of the game, so. Anyway, love making vampire families. Yeah, I don't, I, the thing is, I, I just don't really have a lot of interest in occult sims. It's just not really one of my faves, so. Is werewolves worth getting? Do you know what? Werewolves is an, a complicated one for me too, because here's the thing. I really did have fun playing with werewolves when it came out. I think the cast is really good. I think the build has some interesting stuff, but not a lot that I'm gonna use all the time. But werewolves aren't really the kind of thing that I use often, you know? like. So if I were to pick a game pack, I'd probably pick a game pack that I would get more like everyday use out of. The cat left us again. So like an example would be like Dine Out. I think I like Dine Out better than Werewolves, even though Werewolves is probably objectively better than Dine Out because Werewolves has like so much quality gameplay. The cast is amazing. It's like really well done. Werewolves is probably one of the best packs like, uh, well done wise but even though restaurants are glitchy i i like visit restaurants to go to restaurants to have like a meal out a lot so i might have my sims go on a date to a restaurant all the time i'm not really gonna have a um stop talking to the baby i'm not really gonna have my sims play as a werewolf all the time though you know but that might be the opposite for you so it kind of just depends on how you play and what you like um, but werewolves is a really well made pack. Um, the, the werewolves are pretty cool. So anyway, <laughs> it's just interesting, isn't it? Can you bring an infant to a restaurant? I assume you can. I haven't really brought infants anywhere yet. I want this one to be in a bad mood. Rest time, can't reach, needs help. 
I mean, he's had the low motives needs help thing for a while, so. I don't know. Put him in the rain. Oh, good idea. Are you up? Here. Teleport. <laughs> okay. You could try and sleep probably if you wanted to. This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. Ah, uh, Daniel, I think we'll do a build tomorrow, probably. I think. Can they be taken away? Yeah, I'm not trying to get taken away. I'm just trying to be in a bad mood. Um, because I would very much, uh, I would very much like to <laughs> have the baby age up with one of the bad traits. <laughs> There's a good and a bad trait that you can get when you age up. I keep having, like, neutral babies. I want to have a bad one. But I'm not bad. Everything's fine. It's really annoying. <laughs> hey, Tony, thanks for the raid. And Lizzie, thanks for the 25 months. Um, is that in base game? Yeah. People in chat were saying it happened to them, so. I don't think they're pack-only traits, because some people in- Has it happened to any of you? Anybody in chat have a- had a- had luck with the traits? Let's just confirm. Because- <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Yes, you have. Okay, there you go. Some people in chat have had the top-notch one. Um, okay. Never understood why you have never criticized Dream Home Decorator. That is the most lacking of all the game packs. Bestie, look, I know maybe you, people haven't seen all of my content. Dream Home Decorator is my favorite buy mode pack. It has really good furniture. The gameplay is stupid and I never use it. I said that in the video. I said it was glitchy and it didn't work. I never use it for a reason. Like, <laughs> this is the thing. You guys, like, just because, keep in mind, I, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, old packs every day, you know? Um, I really do like a lot of the stuff in Dream Home Decorator, though. The cast and the build mode makes the pack worth it to me. I never use the gameplay, though. I'd argue that it's stupid and not worth buying because there's no gameplay in it. But like, I really like the, the items in it. I use that all the time. I use it all the time. Like the kitchen is like a complete game changer to me. Having those kitchen sets, I use those counters like in half my builds. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I realize not everybody has seen like everything I ever said about a pack, but like, I don't really appreciate accusations. Like, I don't, why do you never criticize this? Because like, I have. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, I don't use the, the pack, yeah. <laughs> the baby's outside because I'm trying to make it be in a bad mood. Which I think is working. Maybe I'll try and age it up now. Let's see how it works. If it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then I don't care. I kind of want to build the nursery now, so. Um, I might give up after this. <laughs> um, where's my cake? Did they put it away? Maybe they put it away. Ooh, lag. No, okay. We're making a new cake. We're trying again. We're trying again. I guess the longer you take, the worse it gets, right? <laughs> Thought it was upstairs? I didn't see it up there. I had it up there before, but it wasn't there. It's because I had it on this counter. So, no, Kayla, it's not upstairs. I checked there. It's missing. <laughs> That's why I checked in the fridge. Um, because I didn't see it up there. I think the kid took it. Um, I don't know where it is. Just make a new one. I'll just make a new one. Alexander brought it down. Yeah, but to where? It wasn't in the fridge. I don't know. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Am I still playing my Bell Legacy? Yeah! We're- I- I mean, I posted a video a couple days ago. <laughs> um, we're not done with that one. I'm obviously gonna wait until the pack is out and stuff to play it, though. So that we can see the new stuff. Oh, we cleaned it out because it spoiled. Oh, duh. Add birthday candles. Thank you. Okay, would you like to help blow out candles, Gulliver? Maybe it'll work now. We'll see. We shall see. Come on. I'm saving first just in case. 
just in case. Can kids do mean interactions with the infants? Oh, good question. Um, I think that I have to come, like, get to know you first. Wait, don't age the kid up yet. I forgot about that. Oh, cool, everybody's frozen. Oh, not anymore. Hold on. Hold on. Have I seen the new entrepreneur skill? That's from, um, the high school pack. So, yes. Um, okay. So, the interactions that- I keep pressing- oh my god. Sorry. I keep pressing 9, which is, like, a camera set. Oh, we can't do that much. Kids can watch, talk, play peekaboo, and entertain. Okay, would you like to pick up? I'm sorry that I did this to the baby, by the way. I was just trying to see if I could get the bad trade. The answer is apparently not. Pick up the kid! Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Took a second, but we got there. Um... Here's my recording schedule. Like when I record, do I wait, like when do I record? When do I post it? So you know, it really depends on uh, like what's going on. So for example, today I recorded half of the video I posted today. Today um, I recorded half of it when I had early access, and then half when the update actually came out. So things like update content is like I'll try and make that and post it as soon as I can. Um, I typically try to not record on the weekends. So I usually record every day except Saturday and Sunday, but oftentimes I record on Saturday anyway. This weekend I recorded all weekend. <laughs> um, so like sometimes I'll- oh, I got a bonus trait! Ah! Okay, Gulliver had an unfortunate start to life. As a result, expect him to be a little more headstrong and defiant. Yes! <laughs> we are unhappy. Hold on. That's exactly what I wanted. Unhappy infant. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll be more headstrong and defiant. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, so I usually record like maybe like two videos on a Monday um, to post on Monday and Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, I'll record for like Wednesday, Thursday, you know? So that's kind of how it goes. Um, so depending on the day and depending on what's going on, um, I'll be recording like that. Well, now I feel bad. Well, that answers the question though. It definitely is base game. <laughs> they can be a happy infant as well. I, the first infants that I ever played were happy infants. The infant that's, infants that I played today on stream earlier were nothing infants. They didn't get any traits. <laughs> and this one that I made effort in being unhappy is unhappy. What are all his sad moodlets? Oh my god. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, um, they are food now from critically low hunger, need familiar face, uncomfortably wet, can't reach from short arms. Filthy from low hygiene. Is anyone there from crying and fussing? No one's listening to him. Needs help from low motives and no fun from low fun. I was experimenting. I just wanted to see what happens. <laughs> the short arms thing's not my fault. Okay. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I think I want to make a nursery for real now. I think I want to do a little nursery build now. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. So I'm gonna. Yes, shall we? I feel guilty about that. So <laughs> now I'm gonna go work on something that's more positive. <laughs> okay, let's make a nursery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a room. I want to focus on just building a room, I think. And like really put some effort into making a cute nursery. We can use some pack content too, because there's some like really nice little doors. Like so, this isn't even pack content, but you know what I mean. I want it to be- we already did like a space themed one that was a little bit darker. Let's try and do one that has like some more fun colors to it. You know? Earthy themed room? Oh, I was gonna go for rainbow themed room, actually. <laughs> I, I was kind of thinking rainbow room. So... Yes. Should I do, like, maybe a couple of these windows? Cute. Yeah. This room's a little bit big. Let's go smaller. 
I like that. Okay, we can do a fun little carpet and then we can do a rug, I don't know. Do you know what, maybe after I do this, I'll build a house for it, <laughs> I don't know. I kinda wanna put like a little uh, play mat or something, like little with the new um, baby gates. We could put one of those like in the living room or something. Oh, do you know what? I love this polka dot rug so much. I think it's so cute. Am I gonna stream when the new pack comes out? Yeah, definitely, May. We'll be live on Thursday. Um, we'll play the new pack on Thursday when it comes out, which will be really fun. I'm very excited about that, to be honest. <laughs> um, I don't really know what wallpaper to use. I feel like a lot of these aren't fun enough, you know? I want some more color. That's why I like this one, because I feel like it adds some fun stuff. Growing Together is out. It's available for you to buy on the main menu. So you can buy it, but it's like a pre-order. If you buy it right now, there won't be any- it won't be in your game. It doesn't actually come out until Thursday. Um, I know that's confusing, but uh, that's- that's what's happening there. It doesn't actually come out until Thursday. It's not out. You can buy it, but it's not out. It's just like a pre-order purchase, basically. We could probably use these. Oh, maybe I could use the little stars. Do you think that looks nice? I can't tell. I think it's cute, to be honest. Maybe I'll use a different wallpaper then. You think the strawberries? Are the strawberries like too obvious? I feel like I always use the strawberry wallpaper when I've been doing nurseries recently. I've got a problem. I'm like constantly doing strawberries. Maybe we could do like a two-toned, more plain wallpaper and then use patterns places. Cause then we can use the curtains and stuff still. How about that? Maybe change the door. Oh, do you think? I kind of liked the door. Do you not like the door? I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know. I haven't used these curtains in a long time, so. Um, okay. Let's grab one of the new cribs. Oh, we're gonna have to make a fake changing table again. <laughs> we're gonna end up making a fake changing table again in this build. <laughs> we can't escape it. No matter what we do, there's fake changing tables everywhere. We still don't have the changing tables. They're coming out in the pack. Should I use the pink? I don't know. There's no changing table? No, it's in the pack. Door seems a little too vibrant. Well, that's kind of what I want though. I would love for it to be vibrant. I don't know. Um. Do I want to use a different wallpaper? No, I like this one. The door colors are a bit harsh against the wallpaper. You guys have- you- I think you all hate fun. <laughs> it's a baby's room! It's only- it's only for a, an infant. <laughs> I- I like it. I want to do some kind of fun colors, I think. I like the rainbow door. I think it's kind of fun. Um, I don't really like any of these things though. Oh, you know what we can use is the parenthood. Guys, it's just a little, it's just like a little rainbow nursery. I don't really see what the big deal with the door is. I don't understand why you hate it so much. <laughs> like sincerely, I'm, I'm struggling to understand what the problem is. <laughs> I, I say that with love, like I'm not trying to like <laughs> be dismissive of your concerns, but I actually, I don't know what the issue is, so. I like that, it's got some red in it. Um, I wasn't trying to be hateful. I didn't say you were, Riot, but you know, when everybody is yelling, change the door. <laughs> that part kind of stinks, but you can say it in a nice way. And you did, I don't even know what you said, but it's not just one person. Um, okay. 
Okay, don't like that though, actually. Um, newborn aged up with red eyes, you're afraid? Okay, I know what your problem is. Um, you're gonna need to take out the, uh, the default eye replacement that you have. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a default eye replacement problem. Because there isn't like a, for, you have a default eye replacement and there isn't one for the infants, obviously. So, um, when it tries to use it, it doesn't work. Um, ooh, scary. Well, I'm assuming, but from the people that I've seen that have had the same issue, it's all a default eye replacement thing. So I'm, I'm guessing right now, but I'm pretty sure that it's because the default eyes. Okay. Um, do you know what? I actually don't really, I kind of want to like do this in a way that the, um, the bear is still usable. I think. Maybe I can try it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it will still be usable over here. But I kind of want to put it like that. You know, because isn't that kind of cute? And then we can put a couple of the baby toys. It's the, is it the default? I'll, if it, is it the default eye thing? Yes, but will I take it out? No, I'll just settle for my de demonic infants until my mod gets patched. Do you know what? Some of my friends that um, that use default eye replacements that are having the glitch issue, they decided to. Um, I don't know if the eyes that you use have a non-default version, but if they do, you can use the non-default version instead, um, just like temporarily, and it, it basically is like a. I don't know what it'll be classed as, but. It might be like a face paint kind of vibe and then you can put that on your sim. Um, and then you can kind of like custom uh, place the, or custom change the eyes instead of having the babies have scary eyes. <laughs> if that makes you feel better. <laughs> but you don't have to, whatever you want to do. It's no big deal. It's your game. Um, but if it's a, if it's a problem, um, Okay. Um, all right. I think I would like to get a rocking chair. I was like, what's the word? I had to stop and think about it for a second. I was like, I want to get a rocking chair. Yes. <laughs> Took me a minute. Took me a minute, but I got there. Oh, I don't like the rocking chair swatches, though. I also don't know where to put it. Uh-oh. Here, hold on. Maybe I can do the bed like this. Um, should I try and do the... Maybe I can try and switch up the toys a little. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm not doing that good of a job. Should I just use, no, I'll still use four of these. Okay. Um, I'm trying to like evenly space them all though. I'm doing so good. Okay, good. <laughs> what pack is that toy box included in? Oh, this is from Parenthood. Parenthood has some really nice little clutter type items in it. It's a it's a good pack for stuff like that. Um, let's see. Um, do you want to get like a mirror or something? I think that matches pretty well. The rocking chair is from uh, Nifty Knitting. It's a pretty nice item. Cow plant in the nursery, <laughs> okay. I guess we could put a cow plant in here, I suppose, if if you so desire, but I don't know. You know, I'm I'm not sure if if putting a cow plant here is like the best idea. And you know, I could be wrong about that. 
But I'm, I'm just thinking that maybe, maybe, just maybe, it would be better if we didn't put a creature that could eat the child in here. You know? <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. I need to scoot these things all over. What do you think about that? Oh, this item is so cute! I love that thing. That's adorable. Um, okay. I like that a lot, actually. That's such a nice clutter item. I've been thinking that about these new clutter things, because I feel like, um, obviously, that is supposed to be diapers and stuff, but I feel like some of this stuff could just work as bathroom clutter, just in general, you know? Which is kind of nice. Like, you could probably use that in just a regular bathroom. Um, and, and it would still look really cute. I love this little item too. Oh my god, they're giving us so many nice things now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh wait, there's like a diaper thing. Wait. We have this item too. So I could put that next to the changing table. Well, it's not a changing table, but you know, I'm pretending that it is. <laughs> so we could put that there too. Um, I guess maybe I could put the rocking chair and like a little side table with a lamp or something. There is a new lamp in the pack. We also have this new side table, which I can't tell if I want to use or not, but not pack, base game, base game. Oh yeah, we have to put a trash can too. We can do a little trash can in the side. That would be nice, I think. It's like, oh yeah, they're, <laughs> they just throw diapers on the floor now, so <laughs> we could probably uh, get some good use out of a, a trash can, huh? Oh, that matches the rug. Is that too much? Maybe a little bit too much, but... Eh, I don't care. I don't care. Hmm. Okay. Put little trash can, which one? This one has a dinosaur. Oh, the elephant! There's not a lot of pink in here, but it's got an elephant. Oh, that one's cute too. Wait, what do you think we should do? I think pink elephant. I like that, okay. Then we have to put, do you know what we could do? How about this? What if we got like a big bookshelf or something? Or it can be a small bookshelf, but what if we had a bookshelf? And then I kind of tried to like... Oh, you know what? This might be a good way to... Um, play some of the toys around. Because I can place them like more naturally and then we could put like one of the little fake toys behind it. Yeah, like the rainbow giraffe. I'm wondering if I should use the new llama though, just because it's new. It's a little bit big, but we can maybe... Oh no, that's so scary. I don't think I can use that. <laughs> it feels like really alarming. <laughs> yeah, this is just the update stuff, yeah. Uh, we don't have the pack right now, this is just the base game stuff. Um, maybe I could size this little bear down. Oops. So we have a couple toys in here. Oh, the rainbow giraffe is so cute too, but I feel like it's like... Um... No, let's use that. That's so nice. We have to use that. I like it a lot. Okay. Very nice toy section. I'm not loving this part. I'm wondering if maybe I should put it like... I don't know, I feel like there's a lot going on in this little section. Where's the giraffe from? Oh, that's base game! The giraffe is just base game. So, everybody should have that one. Um, what other little baby things? I guess there's some cute shelves. 
Maybe we could try some of those. I could do the rainbow one and then like... Is there a rainbow one on the wood? No? Why not? I kind of want to like bring the wood there. Oh, but there's decals too. That's true. Hold on. Let's try that also. Because we do have these like really nice little tree decals. Maybe I could place a couple of them in like some different colors. Maybe I could put some clouds above them. Wait. Like these clouds. Because it kind of fills in the wall. Aww. See, that's nice. Maybe I'll give us like another window. Is the update out for Xbox too? It should be. Um, the update should be out everywhere that uh, The Sims is on now. So I would guess yes. Do you think that's nice? Because it kind of brings it around. Cloud lamp, please. Oh, like the ceiling light? That could be nice too. I like that idea. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited about the infant update. I'm just in such a good mood. Today's been so nice. It's so cute getting to decorate for them now. Um... How about a sad clown painting? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's a possibility, yeah. Um, maybe not. <laughs> there's, there's a severe lacking in, in, um, clowns in here, yes. Maybe we could put some like little, oh, I don't know if I want this to be purple anymore. Maybe I'll make that yellow because it kind of matches the other furniture. Um, is there any like little cutesy clutter that could be nice? This bunny doesn't slot up there. Why? Isn't that weird? What other decorations do we have? I could probably just put like She said no to the sad clown and the cow plant. Boring. <laughs> you know, you're so right. What's my problem? Okay. I think I want to put something here. Oh, what about one of the little um, height charts? I guess for an infant. They're probably not growing that much though, are they? <laughs> They're like this tall. Oh, a light switch. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we could put like a light switch here and maybe I could put a little thing on the floor. What did you say wrong? Oh, Brain, did you have a thing get like held back by auto mod? Was it like, oh no, you can't send that. Cause you probably didn't say anything wrong. Um, the There's like two kinds of auto mod on Twitch. There's the one that like holds messages for review. So it sends it and then it's like mods have to review this. And then there's some that say, there's the kind that says this conflicts with the channel's moderation settings. Um, and those are words that we've like outright blocked. So for example, um, you can't say the word pregnant in my chat. We probably could put it back. I was just in a really bad mood with how many people were accusing me of being pregnant. I got really sick of it. So I said, you know what? You can't say it anymore. Um, so like that is an innocent word. <laughs> if you're talking about like your sim, you know? Um, but unfortunately the internet is the internet and ruins things, so. Um, but anyway, I got really sick of it. Literally, I'd be sat here and I'd be like, oh my God, I kind of have a headache today. And then somebody would be like, are you perhaps pregnant? No, no, stop doing that. <laughs> but I was so annoyed at it happening. It happens so often. It still happens even like with them getting around the block. So <sighs> anyway, I'm sure you all understand <laughs> where I'm coming from with that um, and it making me uncomfortable. So can you perhaps mind your own business? Yeah, seriously. Um, okay, literally cannot function it on the internet at all without somebody making some wild assumptions, so. Um, and I hate to say it, but they wouldn't do it to a man. Not like this. It definitely happens, but not on this scale, like it happens to me, <laughs> so. 
literally, literally, it happens. I'll be talking about like my period. I'll be like, oh, I've got terrible cramps from my period this week. And they'll be like, maybe you're pregnant. So, as I just described, um, actually, no, <laughs> but like they hear anything and they're like, that's a pregnancy symptom. She must be pregnant. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Anyway, um, that's why that word is blocked. So all that to say, if you try to type something in chat and it didn't send and you're like, oh no, what did I do? You probably didn't do anything. <laughs> it's probably not your fault. Um, it's probably just a word that we have blocked. I kind of want to see about like, oh here, I can put this on the gallery with just the room. I kind of want to see about adding to the room. Baby's first nursery. We have cribs now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll put it on the on the uh, gallery like this, and then we can see how it goes. How do you add rooms to the gallery? Oh, you can click on the room alone and then choose to upload just the room, or you can save the whole lot. Um, obviously, I won't post the whole lot because, well. <laughs> Uh, there's not really a lot going on <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> so I won't post everything on the gallery. Um, I'm thinking about making this into a little house. Oh, emphasis on little, I guess. Oh, here, how about this? This is an idea. Look at that. We could have, like, kitchen, living room. This is kind of a long hallway, which I don't really love, but... Um, maybe I can make the bathroom smaller. There's a house. Simple. <laughs> Will I finish it right now? Probably not. All I wanted to do was put a baby gate in here. <laughs> I just wanted to put a baby gate. <laughs> um, my thought was like, oh, maybe I'll make like a little section where there's like some infant stuff. Um... Okay. You just yawned right in my face, Sam. Should I make it like really small? <laughs> How much of a baby gate area? The house isn't very big. How much of a baby gate area do they need? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. One block, they get one tile. <laughs> could you imagine? Oh, maybe I could put it over here, like by the front entrance. Cause that doesn't take up too much of the the house. Although, do you want them to be right by the front door? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. Um. Okay. Someone tell me what PG rules in chat mean? Yeah, uh, so when we say PG, that stands for parental guidance. It's like a movie rating. Um, so like most like Disney animation films would be PG. Um, and the ratings, it actually has to do with like swearing and stuff in the film and like what kind of stuff goes into a film that makes it like appropriate and how they rate it, whatever. Um, so when we say PG, it's like shorthand for basically don't swear in my chat. Um, keep this stream sort of suitable for, for everyone is kind of the idea that we're going for with that one. Um, we want to make sure that, um, it's okay if, like, you know, people are listening and they have their kids in the room, <laughs> you know? Um, that's all that means, though, It's just don't swear in the stream. And I guess, you know, like, don't talk about, like, drugs and woohoo, <laughs> right? Like, um, just, you, but, like, woohoo's fine, but you know what I mean. Like, the other thing. That is what I, we're talking about when we say PG. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> does that make sense? What are we talking about? You know, Ninja, weird time for you to come in. <laughs> We're saying what isn't is not acceptable in chat. <laughs> Look, I built a nursery. I'm having so much fun right now. I, we are thriving today in this stream. Everything is going so well. <laughs> that sounded sarcastic, it wasn't. Although the most recent thing I did in game um, was 
neglect the goth family's infant so I could see what the bad trait looks like when a sim ages up poorly. Um, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, that's an interesting choice that I had made. Should I use this flooring? I kind of want to. What ended up happening? Oh, great question. I ended up getting the bad trait that I wanted. You know, besties, this is a lot. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, they get like a, oh my god, what was the wording of it? Do you remember that what it was called? Because why am I, why am I forgetting it suddenly? Unha oh, it was unhappy infant. Yeah, oh, it was very simple. It was just unhappy infant. Um, and then they had some like, you know, negative responses from it. No good for them, but it was kind of fun for me to see. There's also a, there's also a good one. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> there is also a good version that you can get. <laughs> if your sim is happy as an infant, they get the good happy infant trait. Um, oh, we also discovered that they kind of like, the babies in Cass, when you're looking at the teeth, they kind of like hiss. Um, so that was a lot for me. That was kind of, um, Honestly, it was kind of it was kind of alarming to witness. Um, so, what are we building now? Oh, I just built a nursery, and now I'm kind of finishing off the little like room attached to it. I'm doing the kitchen right now, which is not really the same thing, but I kind of wanted to see about making like a little baby gate area in the kitchen or in the like in the you know house. So I kind of wanted to to play with the baby gate and make like a little section for them. So I am. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> it's just playing with the baby gates, basically. <laughs> I just wanted to see how I could fit like a little baby section in. Um, you know, not a lot of space over here, if I'm being honest. Not a lot of space. Gonna be kind of hard to use. Okay, that clip cracks me up. Oh, of the baby teeth? It's scary. <laughs> uh, it really took me by surprise, the sound effects. <laughs> um, I like it though. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was great. But it um it did it did surprise me. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Okay. Should I get this? Maybe. You look kind of fun. Or should I try and do something like more chill? Like a cat! Oh, I like the cat one. That's cute. That clip having in tears? Okay, well, I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> well, there, the babies can get put in here. Oh, wait, maybe because it's for an infant, we could use a little like infant rug. Watermelon! Oh, that's cute. What do you think about that? Should I put it like kind of in the middle? Please save. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> I haven't done that. Oops. Cat cam? Oh, she's on my desk. So she's here. I don't know if I can very easily do a cat cam. Uh, it would be like a desk cam, wouldn't it? I don't have that kind of thing set up, unfortunately. Oh, there's the other infant toy. I knew we had another one. Okay, I think that is actually so cute, by the way. I really, really like that. That's adorable. Okay, um, let me just quickly, I guess, decorate the rest of this room. <laughs> I'll quickly do the rest of it so that we can, um, so that we can say we made a space for the babies. Not loving any of these, to be honest. Um, Should I use this polka dot rug? I haven't used that in a long time. Maybe I should. Hmm. That one hurts. It is bright. It it is definitely bright. I can I can see why you might think that. Prob's gonna use it though. How long am I gonna be on stream for today? I don't know. We'll probably get off stream in, in a reasonable amount of time. Probably soon-ish we'll get off stream, but not yet. 
I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm busy. Chairs be yellow to match the spots. Oh, that could be cute. We have like the yellow dream home decorator chairs. That could be a fun little touch. Okay. Um, couch. Maybe the couch could also be yellow. If there's like a nice pastel sort of one. I mean, that's a lot, but I'll use it. Two muted of a yellow. Are you honestly suggesting that you want me to use this swatch? High chair? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. The thought was kind of like, we could put a little high chair right here in the kitchen. I mean, I can use it. No, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Are high chairs working better? Yeah, I actually think I might use high chairs now. <laughs> I haven't really had any issues. I guess I, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I have not used high chairs in years. Full transparency. I used to find them so beyond infuriating. So infuriating. So I didn't use them because they were so annoying to me. But now uh, that I've been testing it out with like the infants, it seems to be okay. So I don't know, haven't had any problems really yet. But I, I, I don't have a lot of comparison that can be made. Do you know what? I wanted to match this still. Can I do like a... Ugh. Maybe red? I don't know. I don't know. Um... Ew. Actually, Nifty Knitting was really good for that, so... I mean, I could use the bright and bold yellow. <laughs> we could use the bright yellow if we wanted to. And we could try a different couch. Maybe I could get like a green couch. Please change the rug. Oh, friend, I know the rug is a lot, but that's kind of why I want to use it, you know? Oh, how about that? <laughs> Uh, but I, obviously I, I can tell the couch is a lot. It's definitely a bold, a bold couch, but, um, I like it. Or I mean, I mean rug, sorry. Distracted myself trying to speak. Oh, horrible. Don't like. Orange couch? I don't know, maybe, wait, maybe Dream Home, honestly, maybe Dream Home Decorator again, but in the, like, The red color scheme. I don't know if I can do that, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. I think I hate the color red. I might need to use just like a regular yellow couch. Um. Oh, that's like a smaller... No, I wish that one was wider. How about... Oh, wait a minute! Oh, that one works. It's a different color yellow, but I don't really care about that, to be honest. Maybe we could do like a blue chair. I don't know, it's different. I've never used this. Um, I might go back to the chairs we had before now, because there's a lot of yellow in here. I think that's nice, right? You can get some windows on either side. Maybe a colorful lamp. Oh, that could be cute. I like that idea. This feels like a nice plan. Maybe, no. High school years? No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. This one's kind of patchwork. This is from, um, Werewolves. I don't know if I can bring myself to use this or not. It's hard to say. Maybe I could put it over there. 
That might be kind of nice. What do you think? No, we have some other baby gate colors, uh, but I kind of like this one because I like how it matches the floor. I, I think that it's okay, and correct me if you disagree. I'll probably keep what I'm doing though. But I think that it's okay if a baby gate is like outrageously different in color scheme. Cause like, it's like baby furniture. You know? So, it's fine. <laughs> um, the rest of this place is outrageously colorful. Yeah, I agree, I know. But I never do stuff like this, so I'm just seeing how it goes. But, um, yeah, I think it's okay if, like, baby furniture doesn't match the house, because it's baby furniture. Like, truthfully, would it really match the house that well? Like... Well, it is okay if baby furniture can be muted in colors as well. I know that there's a lot of muted color baby furniture, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be. Um... I, I think it's kind of fun to use some fun, bright colored stuff for them sometimes, you know? Now's our chance, isn't it? Um, okay. I'll just get a couple things over here. Like, stop! Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Maybe we could put, like... I really didn't intend to spend like ages doing this, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to, I just wanted to place a baby gate. That was all. Um, I don't know. Oh, thermostat. That would be smart. Smoke alarm also would be smart. Good idea. You know I can't be trusted with fire. Um. Fire alarm. Yep, good call. Good call, chat. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe we could put, like, this little item here by the sink. Also cute. There's not really a lot going on on this wall. Or it was everything we dreamed of. You know, we love playing with infants. I'm so excited. I feel like I... I know I keep saying this and it's kind of silly of me to like be repeating it, but genuinely to me, this infant update, I like at this current moment, legitimately cannot believe that it's actually here. Like, I, I just feel like it's this thing that we've been waiting for, for so long and not even waiting for, but like, like wanting, but assuming we would never get. So the fact that the update is like actually out now is is so wild <laughs> and so fun I, it's just been really cool getting to play with it today i i feel like we've been wanting this forever and um it's cool that it's actually out now you know so that's been that's been a fun part of it i just can't believe it's actually here you know um i don't know this is the second time they've done this and like dropped these huge updates that uh, to be honest, I never anticipated, <laughs> but like it's the same thing as um, like the toddler update when that came out That was even more so honestly like unbelievable because there was no warning for the toddler update At least with this one they had sort of told us in advance that it was coming um, But with the toddler update Absolutely no warning. They just dropped that It just came out <laughs> All of a sudden, we had toddlers. We woke up one morning, we didn't have toddlers. <laughs> that afternoon, we had toddlers. And there was no leak. I mean, that was that was just wild. It was so cool when that happened. Um, like, actually unmatched. That was, like, genuinely amazing. Um, they just were like, hey, update your games. <laughs> There's toddlers now. And they didn't tell us about it. Um, I'm- I think I'm glad that they told us about this one, because it was fun for us to be able to, like, look forward to it. Um, but the way that they just dropped that with no warning was honestly so cool. Like, that was- I mean, they're never gonna top that, are they? Light switch on the other side of the door? Well, I did it because I liked that side of the wall better. But I can move something for it to maybe make more sense for you. Yeah, and now it's, like, hard to remember a time before toddlers, isn't it? Um, which is just kind of weird to think about. 
Could you imagine going back and telling us, like, you know, a um, few years ago, 2017 us, when the toddler update first came out, that they were going to do it again with infants? I mean, I, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have probably laughed at you and been like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> so it's just really cool. It's really fun that it actually is here now. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think we all would have been like, okay. <laughs> Sure, we're gonna get another life state. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited about it, so it's fun to get to play with. I honestly, this is gonna sound kind of embarrassing, but one of the things that I'm most excited about with this update is having cribs now to decorate rooms with. Super excited about cribs. It's, it might seem like a small thing, but to me, amazing. Very excited. Very, very excited about cribs. Okay, that's a nice little bathroom, to be honest. This house isn't very big, so I might finish it tonight then. Um, what color should we paint the walls? <laughs> um, that's a lot. Maybe I could do like the, I don't know, is yellow weird or is it cute? There's a lot of yellow in here. Maybe that like ties it together better though. The light yellow. I don't know. Green would be better. Yeah, I always use green. Do you think like this green or like a more green green? There isn't really a green that matches the I think I like the yellow, chat, if I'm being honest. I think the yellow is cute. I think that's my fave. Okay. Speaking of things that are cute, let's just get a couple more items. Um, and then we will do the primary bedroom. And then I guess just do the outside, I don't know. <laughs> Streaming late? I will be live for a little bit longer. Um, we've all been so excited. I spent so much time playing with the update today that I didn't really get a chance to build with it yet. So I'm kind of excited to make a little house for infants. Your Sim had two sets of twins. Oh God. <laughs> I had twins, uh, today also. I, I had twins with the, um, with the science baby, which was kind of cool. Cause that was new to me. I've, I've had a few science babies now. Um, but I hadn't had twins from it yet, so that was kind of fun. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just going for it. Um, so I earthy bedroom. Do you want me to make it like not ridiculously colorful? Cause unfortunately I'm gonna make it ridiculously colorful, I think. Um, but, but anyway, I had twins from the science baby today, which was kind of fun. I knew they had said that you that, that could happen, but I hadn't actually seen it yet, so. Um, Obviously it just came out and I tested it only a few times when I had um, early access, but I was, I was pretty excited about the science baby giving me twins. I thought that was very cool. Okay. Get famous bed or island living. Oh, that could work. Those are ideas. Let me... <laughs> um... <laughs> Maybe this light green might be nice. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Do you think that maybe... No, it needs to be kind of simple, this bed. Because the colors on the floor are not simple. You liked the aqua-y color oh, of this one? Yeah, I like the color of that one too, but do you think that it would be better to use like a more plain bed? Canopy bed in blue? Canopy bed, like the city living one? Oh, that one has some, oh, do you know what? This actually kind of works. I know it's purple, which is different than what we've been using, but maybe I could try and tie in the blue on the wall. I 
I don't know. I think that's kind of nice, right? Oops. Oops. I feel like that's pretty. I don't think I've, I've never used this combination together before, so. I don't know, we're just trying to do something different. <laughs> we're just trying to use some stuff that we haven't done before, because I feel like it's so easy to fall into like using the same stuff over and over and over again, because you like find stuff that you like and then you keep using it. Um, so today I'm just trying to use stuff that we haven't. The rug is from the Backyard Stuff Pack. Which is an okay stuff pack. Backyard Stuff honestly has some kind of really cute little gameplay in it. Um, I don't really think about like the, the gameplay of that pack all that much. Um, but I probably should. Because I have a, a little love for Backyard Stuff. That was the first pack I ever got uh, code for from EA. And I, I had like 20,000 subscribers at the time, so to me, it was like the hugest deal. That like actually made my life. I was so happy <laughs> uh, when they offered me the code for that one. I, when I saw that email, I actually couldn't believe my eyes. That was like the coolest thing that ever happened to me. So I've got, um, I don't know, fond memories of that pack. <laughs> uh, that was really cool, so, okay. Find it hard to furnish with things that you don't like. I know, it's it's hard to use stuff that you aren't a fan of. And now you build lots? Oh my god, isn't that wild? Ugh, I actually, if you think about that, I when I first got access to backyard stuff, I was in high school, I was probably like 17, 16, 17 maybe. Um, if you could go back and tell like me then <laughs> that I would, no, oh, by the way, Kayla, there's gonna be a baby update. Um, we're gonna finally get a baby update. <laughs> and, oh, and also, by the way, they're gonna ask you to build the lots that are coming with the pack. That would have been wild. And then it did happen. I should give them a cow plant. Oh my God, good idea. Good idea. I think you're onto something. I don't really know what else to put in here. Okay, um, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> there's not a roof. One second, everybody, just uh, give me a moment. I will fix it. Not to fear. Roof is being handled. <laughs> um, okay. That should probably be nice. Yeah, we did that whole thing. We didn't even touch the inside yet. <laughs> or the outside yet, I mean. Um, is this house for the baby update? Yeah, we, we played with the baby update loads today. Uh, and then after we finished doing some gameplay, I decided I kind of wanted to build another nursery. So I built another nursery quickly. Um, it's not like a huge house or anything. I just kind of wanted to build a house that had a nursery in it, basically. Um, fence is base game. Yeah, the little uh, baby gate is base game. Yeah, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Curtains in the master bedroom. Yeah, I didn't put any curtains in the primary bedroom. Um, probably should have, but do I like that? I don't know, I think so. I wasn't sure which ones to use. I'm still like unsure of how many packs I'm using today. <laughs> um, maybe I can scoot this together and then use these curtains. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not really entirely certain which and how many packs I'm trying to use with this. Maybe I'll use the yellow. That could be nice. Um, okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let me just put this on the outside. Purple desk chair. I don't know if there is a purple swatch of any of the desk chairs. I kind of liked how it had the orange from the rug, but... There's a light purple, I guess. This one has some purple. There's no purple in the rug, though. I don't know, what do you think? We can use that one, I don't really care. Um, changing station. Oh, the changing stations actually, unfortunately, are not in the base game. They're from uh, the pack only, the new Growing Together expansion pack. Um, so we don't have a changing table to add. We have. I put a dresser in there, so it kind of looks like a fake changing table, but we don't have a real one. Hot pink exterior, oh. 
Oh, really? What about this horrible green that I never use? I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. We could do a light pink. Maybe I'll use the horrible green. Do you know what? I've never, I never ever make this work. Should we try and make it work? Yeah, we'll put a different roof obviously on it. Maybe I'll use a different foundation too. Maybe I'll make it shorter. I don't like the foundation at all. We can make this work. Maybe I'll keep the brick. I wish we had more brick foundations. More foundation types are like one of my biggest wishes for this game. Um, okay. If we had some columns on the ends and some landscaping, how do we change the babies? Oh, it's the same as how you change a toddler's diaper now. Um, a lot of people were asking that, like, oh, if we don't have a changing table, how do you change them? But it, it's just like how you do it now, where you like, they kind of like go in the air and then you change the diaper. Um, it's not really, it's not really weird because it's like kind of how we already have it, you know? Uh, no, please, it hurts with <laughs> the green. It's a, it's an interesting color scheme, yeah. Look, we're trying to do some fun stuff, okay? And then you get a floor diaper. Yeah. <laughs> now with the pack, or with the update at least, they put a diaper on the floor. It's kind of wild. Um, okay. Look, I'm just kind of throwing together the rest of this house. This The whole point of this was just that I wanted to decorate a nursery. The rest of it is just a bonus. <laughs> Um, the rest of it is just, I, I wanted to build a nursery and we're putting a house together for the rest of it, you know? Um, yeah, the columns help with the green. I, I think so too. I think so too. The green was kind of a lot. So having some columns made a difference, I think. Am I going to upload it? Yeah, I'll post it on the gallery in a second. Um, Oh, don't like that. What kind of flowers do you think we should use? Maybe some of these like orangey ones? We can do some kind of simple landscaping. It's not like a very expensive fancy house. Maybe we could get a gnome. What do you think cats and dogs or city living? Oh, you know, I think city living is great fun. But honestly, Cats and Dogs is one of my favorite packs. I mean, you guys know this. I, I play with pets in like every household. So I, I don't know if, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't recommend City Living over pets, I think, because I just love pets so much. I really, really enjoy Cats and Dogs. It's so fun. Um, I, I always have my Sims play with pets. So I think you'd probably like that one. Um, the the worlds are pretty um they're the worlds are both pretty good i think like i i they're obviously very different because one like has a city and the other one um is is kind of like a suburban sort of area but um i don't think that like one is significantly better than the other or anything they're both good for different reasons you know do you think that's too much can't tell I'm trying to make it look like it's one big bush. To be honest. Um, what do you think about that? But yeah, the festivals are fun and stuff, but I, I just think Cats and Dogs is better. Cats and Dogs is a fun pack. Um, it's just really, really nice. It's so cool to have pets. The green is actually kind of growing on you. Really? <laughs> good. That is good. I never used this shade, so. Um, it's kind of fun to try it out, you know? Okay, a couple other things that we need for the house and then I'll leave, I swear. Um, trash can. Little outdoor trash can somewhere, probably just back here. Do you know what? Maybe I'll make like a fake patio or a slightly, 
slightly fenced in area or something. Because I can have like a little um, section over here, which could be kind of nice. Maybe I'll just have it be part of the, the yard. How about a real patio? Okay, well it is a real patio. I meant more like a fake, not fake backyard or fake patio, but more like kind of slightly faked fenced in area. Because I it's not going to be enclosed. I don't think at least. I bet it's been a stressful like, few days. Do you know what? Um, yeah, I've been really busy the past few days. <laughs> Um, I, I've been staying up late and waking up really early recording with the pack, which obviously is super fun. Um, but yesterday, if I'm being honest with you, yesterday before I went live, I felt less stress about like the early access video that I posted, but I was extremely anxious about the live stream and we lost access to the pack yesterday. So I was trying really hard to film as much extra like stuff as I could. Um, that morning all day. So I was like, like grinding, like, I need to see this interaction. I need to see this thing. I need to see this part of the pack just so I had video of it so I could show you all. So that part was kind of stressful <laughs> um, because I wanted to make sure I didn't like miss anything important and I could answer your questions and like show you all everything. Um, and that I had enough to do like a, a reasonable stream with it all. Um, so that part was kind of uh, stressful yesterday. I was super anxious about it. And then I was nervous about like, I don't know, it going well and stuff, but it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, I think that people, I hope that you liked the stream yesterday. It was cool being able to finally talk about it. Obviously, because I've been like sitting on um, like news about this pack for God, so long. <laughs> like I've known about the pack for ages because I built for it. So it was really cool to finally be able to talk about it. Um, and like answer people's questions because for for like a couple months now since they announced it people would be like oh my god kayla like can you tell us about the lots that you built and i would be like no i can't <laughs> i would love to but i can't um so it was fun to be able to like actually talk about it when people asked <laughs> um so that was kind of fun i i really enjoyed that one um but Anyway, um, okay. I was also, you know what else? I was also super nervous about people seeing my builds because I was so scared people were gonna hate them. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where because I spent such a ridiculous amount of time on those builds, like you have no idea. I, I probably built each one of those builds like seven times separately and like redid it, redid it, redid it. But then also like, you know, kept adding and changing and adding and changing so many t I spent so many hours on those. It's almost like I don't, I can't look at this with a, with like an objective point of view. Cause I spent so much time on it. So like, uh, I don't know. I was super nervous about people seeing them, <laughs> you know? Cause um, I was scared that people would hate them, but I don't know. But yeah, you can imagine like how it's, it's kind of nerve wracking. I felt a lot of pressure about it not like from anybody else. It was like internal pressure, but I just had this like vision of how, you know, some kid is going to get growing together for Christmas uh, in a few months and they're going to be so excited and they're going to load in and they're going to play in the starter home probably. And I don't want it to suck, <laughs> you know, like I want it to be a good experience because like some random person, they have no idea who I am. It's just like some person who's playing the game. Like I want it to be good so that it's a good experience for them to play in, you know? Um, but so I spent a lot of time worrying about that <laughs> and like making sure people would like enjoy the builds when they got their hands on them and stuff. So, um, anyway, first infant house. Okay. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. I built, oops. I built this just so I could use the new infant stuff. Okay. Anyway, there you go. I'll put it on the gallery for you in case you all want to download it. Mostly I just wanted to see the new infants. You overthink just like me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this house. I think it's cute. I like the nursery a lot. The rest of it's kind of a lot, but I like the nursery a lot, so. That was fun. That was fun. I'm so excited about the event update. I'm so glad we got to play it. 
Um, tomorrow we'll probably play with it some more, I think. Um, and then obviously on Thursday, the pack actually comes out. So we'll get to play with the pack. There's so much going on this week. <laughs> and there's so much going on this week. Okay. Let me go see who all is live and we can maybe find someone to raid. I assume my entire following list is playing The Sims 4. <laughs> okay, so we have a large group of people to pick from. <laughs> I think that maybe, well, that's so funny. Everybody's playing The Sims 4. Everybody's so ready for this. Um, do you know what? One of my very best friends, um, Rochella, is playing with the infant update. And I kind of want to go over there. I think I'm I'm kind of wanting to go hang out with Shella um, and say hello. Yeah. Close your eyes and point, right? It's like, how do you pick? I don't know. Shella has a cat cam though. So that's that I think was the deciding factor for me is that the cat is on screen. <laughs> um, let's go over and say hi to Shella, shall we? Um, Shella, shall we? Oh, she's got a cow plant. Oh my God. Well, there you go. Not even a question. <laughs> um, so when we raid people, by the way, um, we usually, oh, I shouldn't say it. It's going to be worse now. I'll tell you. Somebody asked. I know it's, oh, there's a lot of people here who maybe don't watch my streams normally. We usually put my egg emote in the chat when we raid people, but don't put it like too much. You know, you can put like one egg or like three eggs, but in one message, but don't like spam, you know, because then we seem annoying. So do like a tasteful amount of eggs in the raid. I don't even mention it anymore. I just let people do it because that way um, I don't like harass anybody with eggs <laughs> to, to an extreme degree. But we usually put my egg emote in the chat when we raid people. So let's go egg Shella <laughs> with a tasteful amount of eggs. Um, and then I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll play with the infant update some more, okay? Thank you for hanging out. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Happy infant update day. I'm just so excited. Um, and I'll see you all later, okay? Okay. Goodbye! <laughs>